Sam. Uh, we've got well, about 47 people here already today. Now, I'm curious. I'm going to press the pause button right now. And um, I'm just testing out this new countdown timer application. And I think if I pause the screen, then, of course, the timer would be paused, right? So your timer's not moving right now, right? If you guys could say, um, you know, I guess correct if uh, your timer is frozen right now. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought would happen with this timer application. Uh, so it's kind of neat because it lets you know when we're starting. Uh, I know sometimes people log in and they're not sure, you know, if, what, what time we're starting or anything like that. So uh, it's kind of a new uh, technique that I'm trying here. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and see how we can... can uh, okay, yeah, I've got to pause now. And let's see, we're all going to want to move it out of our way so we can go ahead and get started soon. If you're just joining us, you haven't missed anything yet, this is uh, Greg Wells, your trainer here for today. Uh, I had logged in early to do uh, some uh, sound checks and was just kind of chatting with everyone that was here as uh, we're going to be getting started right at the top of the hour here today. Um, let's see. Let me check a few more things. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen behind the scenes and go to webinar. This is what the uh, my control panel looks like. And uh, so this is where I manage my settings. And uh, you can see on the bottom right here, it tells you how many people have registered for today's webinar. We have 746 people that have registered here today. Uh, this webinar line actually only holds 500 people. So you guys are, should be glad that you're here and got in early today. And um, let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, George was saying the West Coasters get the uh, time zones. <laughs> uh, Ross was asking how often we do this webinar. Um, I do this anywhere from uh, at least once a month, for sure, Ross. Uh, sometimes it, it, I, I do this webinar when we get sponsors. <laughs> I guess I should put it that way. Let me pull up a slide, and I'll talk more about our sponsors. But it's thanks to our sponsors that uh, I'm able to do this webinar for you guys. Uh, they basically pay me to do the webinar and uh, because they, you know, they want to get visibility with you guys. And uh, these are all great resources. They're, they're blogs with free information. And, um, and you know, so I, this model I've gone to, I really like, because we used to have to charge people to come to the training. Now, you know, you guys don't have to pay to come to the training. I still get paid, and the sponsors are happy as well. So it kind of is a win-win-win, um, you know, for everybody. So uh, we're just finishing up some checks. If you're just joining us here today, you haven't missed anything. We're going to be getting uh, started at the top of the hour here. And... Um, one of the things I want to test out next is our polling feature. I want to make sure this is working. We're going to do some polls to make things interactive here today. Uh, someone was asking about um, opening up a screen to do notes. Yeah, I think you can arrange your window so that you have this on one side and your notes on the other side. You are going to want to follow along today. With your, you know, we're going to be doing some things live on, on um um, LinkedIn and um, you know we're gonna, on my slides are you gonna want to take notes from so I don't recommend that you type your notes because then sometimes you're not able to see the screen so it might be easier just to write down your notes let's go ahead and test out our polling feature I'm gonna open this up hit the launch button here and if you could just help me out and uh, we're testing this out right now and just uh, the poll says uh, did you view the word cloud video uh, this was a video training that was on the registration page. We're going to talk a little bit about word clouds today. Uh, so if you didn't get to see that video, then uh, you'll still be exposed to word clouds. I mean, it's a phenomenal tool. If you guys like that video, um, I'd love to hear your feedback. Go ahead and type uh, you know, into the chat box now, yes, if you like that video, or if there was something specific you learned there that you liked. Um, you know, let me know about that. The, the video goes into more depth in uh, how to use Word Cloud, but uh, we are going to touch on Word Clouds today, and I'm going to tell you how you can get the Word Cloud tool that I recommend. There's a good free one out there. Uh, you don't need to use any of the paid ones that are out there. Uh, so let's hit uh, manage polls. And last chance to vote here. I'm going to close this poll. We're just testing the polling feature now. If you're just joining us, we're going to get started right at the top of the hour. We're doing some uh, 
tests and kind of chatting here. Let me hit the share button. This should show you the results here. It looks like about two thirds of our audience um, saw that video that was on the registration page. And uh, you can always go back to the registration page if you want to see that again later on if you didn't get to see it. Let me hit the hide button here. You know, one time I was doing this training and uh, I forgot to hit the hide button and I started doing the whole training and, um, and and no one could see my slides. I had the poll results up there blocking the whole thing. And, you know, people were typing into the chat box, "Hey, Greg, we can't see your slides," but you know, I got so uh, you know just started teaching and. Uh, wasn't really you don't know, can't check the chat box all the time when you're teaching. So if anything like that happens today, I apologize in advance. You know, I'm, I'm kind of a one-man show, and uh, so if my audio drops out or anything today, just let me know. I'll be checking the chat box. I'll go out in the middle of uh, teaching, and, but uh, you know, usually we don't have any technical problems. And uh, let's see here, question box. Uh, let me just see what kind of feedback we had on the Word Cloud tool. Um, yeah, let's see. Quite a few people. Was Deb was saying it was very useful. Uh, Mary was saying it went great. Um, uh, Julie said she had problems with the video. That's good feedback for me. Thank you. Um, uh, John is saying, where's the yes button? Oh, we just type things into the chat box here. We don't really have yes or no button. Uh, and Martin was saying uh, he was looking at the time zones. Yeah, Eastern. Okay, yeah, good feedback, guys. Thank you. Uh, so we've got 125 people here already. We're going to be getting started right at the top of the hour. If you're just joining us, uh, we're expecting a full house today. And this is Greg, your trainer here. I'm just doing a quick uh, sound check before we get started. And we're checking off our, we checked out the polling feature. We've been checking off some of our other settings here. We're looking at the GoToWebinar uh, control panel for today. I'm just kind of being transparent and figured I'd uh, chat with you guys a little before we get started at the top of the hour. We're going to be going right into things uh, at the top of the hour here, so welcome. Let me just uh, take a look and see um, how we're doing with more of our settings here. Yeah, so uh, if you guys have questions today, the chat box is how we're going to interact with each other, the questions box. Uh, so I'm glad that we're using that to kind of get warmed up here today. Um, Scott was saying he liked the, um, the phone reminder. And uh, I, I was testing on a countdown timer today. You guys that, that saw that, was that helpful at all? Did, uh, did that, uh, you know, the uh, countdown timer, I turned it off now because we were getting ready to get started. And uh, okay, so. I uh, just want to welcome a few more people that have joined us and have been uh, chatting here. Uh, Cougar is here. Uh, Irma, welcome. Martin is here, welcome. Uh, Deb Mason, welcome. Cheryl, Jim Phelps, welcome. Um, one of the, the things I always like to is currently is unavailable. Uh, Please check the event listing as the event has either not started is or is currently being prepared for on-demand viewing and will be available shortly. Uh, if you are multitasking, like you know, checking your email while you're listening to this training, it, 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 because this is a software that, that uh, piece, it can actually tell when you're doing that, and uh, so it gauges what your attention level is, and uh, lets me know who's who, you know interacting and who's paying attention, kind of like a teacher would know at the front of the class. So I always think that's neat. Uh, of course, there's nothing wrong if you're you know multitasking if you know some of this stuff already, and um, there's nothing wrong with uh, taking notes if, if you're typing. Uh, so, uh, but I, I thought that's kind of neat, and I don't think other people realize that. So I wanted to let you guys know when you're on a webinar, they can tell who's paying attention. Uh, in case you're ever on one of these with your boss or anything. Um, so we're going to be getting started at the top of the hour here. If you're just joining us, uh, we're, uh, this is Greg, your trainer. We've just been kind of uh, chatting away here before we get started at the top of the hour. We were testing out our polling feature. 
and I was you guys were giving me some good feedback on the registration process. If anyone has any other feedback on the registration process, uh, you know, I certainly uh, appreciate that. Uh, if there's anything we could do to make it easier for you, or uh, you know, if you have trouble registering or trouble with the video, uh, those are things we want to know about so we can make this as seamless as uh, possible for you guys. Uh, we do trainings every month. Uh, we work with sponsors to get our training. So let me go ahead and pull their slide up again and just uh, tell you guys a little bit about our sponsors before we get started. Uh, Recareer.com is a uh, blog by Phil Rosenberg. Phil sometimes co-hosts these uh, um, webinars with me. Uh, he's not here today, but uh, you know, Phil uh, you know, is a resume writer who blogs, uh, which means you know writes uh, like a magazine of uh, great advice and content. Uh, I lost my job.com is Rob Schindel. Uh, Rob's a good guy out of Texas. I met him when I was down in Austin uh, last summer. And uh, his blog has lots of resources. He's, his site's more of a video site. So if you like to read, read career, it's probably better for you. If you like to watch videos, I lost my job. It's a good resource for you. And then uh, Kevin Kermis runs uh, Career Attraction. Uh, it's another good site with uh, good content on uh, on uh, you know, helping in your job search. So these are our sponsors here for today. You know, it's thanks to them that we're able to do this training here today. Uh, I hope that you know you guys appreciate this model that I've shifted to, where uh, I'm bringing in sponsors to you know make these trainings available to you, so that we don't have to charge people to come to these trainings anymore. This used to be a, a $97 uh, training that people would pay to come to, and that was kind of my my business model the last couple of years. But this year, I, you know, I made this shift. I learned about getting sponsors, and I think this really makes it a win-win-win for everyone. Um, of course, you guys don't have to pay, and you get this the same great training anymore. And you know, I still get paid, and uh, the sponsors are happy as well. Uh, because this is a true training, uh, I don't make these slides available, and this isn't being recorded. You know, I don't want this floating around the internet. This is what I get paid to do, and you don't want this floating around the internet uh, so that everyone has it. What you're going to learn here today is going to give you a competitive advantage uh, in your job search. So. Um, I always get questions, are the slides available or anything like that? They're not. Um, so you'll just need to take notes today. I recommend you grab a pen and um, you know take lots of notes. We're going to be moving pretty fast because I want to try to give you as much as I can in the time that we've got here today. Uh, it's going to be 60 minutes of pure teaching. And then uh, we're going to do a Q&A session that will last for 30 minutes. I do have a hard stop at uh, 1230 today. But um, I'll try to help you guys in every way that I can in the time that we've got here today. Uh, if you have questions, as we go, I encourage your questions, but I'd ask that you please hold your questions until we get into the Q&A session. What I find is that a lot of times the presentation answers your questions uh, before we go ahead and even get started, uh, and so uh, or before we, we get to them. So hold your questions until we get to the Q&A session, please. And uh, so we're at the top of the hour here. I just want to kind of dive in. I want to welcome you guys. We're expecting a full house here today. You haven't missed anything yet if you're just joining us. This is uh, Greg, your trainer here. I've just been kind of chatting with the audience. Uh, we're expecting to have a full house here today, as you can see from our GoToWebinar registration here. We had over 700 people register today. This webinar line holds 500 people, and uh, we're at 258 right now. So we're going to be filling up as we get going. Um, these are again are our sponsors. We'll come back to those at the end of the presentation here. You're definitely going to want to check those out later on. And um, let me just start with a quick note on myself. You know, I'm Greg Wells, Greg with an I. Uh, I hope that we're all connected on LinkedIn. This is my email address so that you can connect with me on LinkedIn. And um, let's go ahead and dive right into things. So here's what we've got for you today in this webinar training. Uh, we're going to cover in depth the three strategies for getting hired from LinkedIn first and fast in 2011. And that's also going to include the single most important thing you must do on LinkedIn and the two critical mistakes you must avoid on LinkedIn that just about everyone makes. We're also going to cover proven techniques to become the hunted. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use and how to get LinkedIn's newest secret weapon, which is called Signal. Uh, 
In order to fit everything into an hour, I did have to cut out one part about the, how to get the features of the LinkedIn Premium account. That is really good stuff for you to know as well. So what I'm, what I'm doing for you is I'm going to make a separate video training on this, and I will email that out to you tomorrow. So look for that follow-up email tomorrow. Um, as I mentioned before, I don't like to record my trainings, but I'll record this for you just because we, we couldn't fit everything in today in our hour. And then we're going to have a 30-minute uh, Q&A session. Uh, I'm going to answer the questions that come in during the Q&A session. Please hold your questions until we get to the Q&A session. And um, I'll try to help you in any way that I can today. And then uh, at about the midway point of the q and I've got a special bonus surprise for everyone that's here today. Uh, you guys are really going to like this, so you're definitely going to want to stick around for this bonus. It's something that will really help you in your job search. Uh, before we get started here with the actual training, um, I'd recommend that you put away any distractions, you know, turn off your cell phone, uh, grab a pen to take some notes. Um, you're going to be wanting to watch my screen through the presentation, so I don't recommend that you type your notes, but I'd rather that you uh, write them as we go. This way you can be looking at two things. And I do recommend that you open up LinkedIn in another browser tab. Uh, if, you're, if you're able to do that, if you're online, I realize some people may have just called in, but uh, if you're online, um, we're going to be referring to some things on LinkedIn, and this way you can kind of look over at your profile and, and see, you know, kind of what your metrics are when we talk about metrics and things like that on LinkedIn. So open up another browser tab. I'm just going to give you a second to go ahead and do that now before we get loaded in, and then come on back over here to this screen where you can watch and uh, follow along. Uh, here's my contact information again so we can get connected on LinkedIn. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put this again at the end of the presentation if you uh, didn't get that. And again, my background is in recruiting and I've spent uh, the past couple years training recruiters on how to use LinkedIn. Um, and so really what I'm going to be teaching you today is how recruiters do it. And when you understand how they're doing it, then you can figure out the right ways for you to be doing it. It, it, it only makes sense to kind of reverse engineer the process. And, and I got into this job seek, seek, uh, seeker training role uh, because of my favorite role, which is as a husband and family man. You see, my wife was out of work for almost a year in 2008 going into 2009. And um, so I lived vicariously through uh, unemployment through her. Um, you know, I, every time we would go out, I would, my, I would see my wife just cringe uh, because she was afraid people were going to ask her how the job hunt was going, and it, it was going terrible. It was so embarrassing to have to tell people that. So she, she just didn't even want to go out anymore. And you know, whenever somebody asked that question, I could see her, you know, kind of close her eyes and put her hand on her head. And, and the worst part for me was uh, my recruiting practice was still thriving and still is. And so Brenda would see me getting people back to work every week and would say to me, um, honey, <laughs> what about me? Uh, can you please help me get back to work? But I, I didn't have any connections in Brenda's industry, and her industry was one that was dying out. And even though her sales skills should have translated to just about any industry, um, no one was even giving her an interview. What she kept hearing was, uh, we have plenty of applicants with experience right in our industry. Why should we even consider you? And it was very frustrating, and I'm sure a lot of you are, you know, have, are in the same circumstances or similar circumstances, and so I know what you're feeling. And I'm going to share with you today how I help Brenda get back to work. Um, I, I had to come up with a way for her to get back to work because what I was dealing with, uh, and I think this is the hardest part for a lot of you as well, what I was facing was you know, the fear of letting down my family. If I, if I didn't get back to work, my, my family was going to be let down. And so um, you know, I finally came up with a game plan for getting Brenda back to work. Uh, as you can see in this photo, she was very happy once she got back to work, and so were, were we. It actually only took 22 days for her to get back to work once she implemented what I'm going to show you today. Uh, but not only am I going to show you how Brenda got back to work, I want to share with you some other lessons that we've learned along the way that I feel are equally important. First of all is the power of hope. Um, I, I would uh, see Brenda have days where she just didn't even want to get out of bed. She was so depressed about not working. And when, when you've hit that point, everyone can tell. When you've lost hope, there is no hope in your job search. And, um, you know, so really one of my goals for today is, yeah, I'm going to show you some things you can go out and do that are going to get you results right away on LinkedIn. And some of you are going to start doing this and getting results. But just by learning this and by doing it, 
I hope this is going to charge you up again. That, that's really my bigger picture goal for today, is to give you hope again, that if you start doing some different things in different ways, you can start getting some different results, and that this is going to give you hope. And now when you're out there interviewing or networking, you'll be kind of charged up again, because you need to be charged up. You need to have hope. And uh, you, you also need to understand that your career does not equal your value. We're all on this planet for a bigger purpose, and and I, I had to constantly remind Brenda of this. You, you can't do it alone. You've got to surround yourself with people that remind you that hey, you're you're important to our family and to the community and to the world, even though you're not working. So surround yourself with people that will remind you of that, and that'll help you keep up your hope. And lastly, we learned that LinkedIn is not a silver bullet. You know, just being on LinkedIn didn't do anything for Brenda. Uh, all the advanced tips and tricks that I knew on LinkedIn didn't isn't what helped her get back to work. Uh, some very fundamental things that we did on LinkedIn uh, helped Brenda get back to work. And, and LinkedIn really is a tool. This is this is would be how I want you to come away from today looking at LinkedIn. Is this LinkedIn is a tool? There's and there's lots of different ways to use any tool. There's no right or wrong way to use a tool, uh, but you need to use the tool in the right ways to meet your goal. Your goal is to get back to work and to you know be there for your family. And so one of the reasons LinkedIn is so important in your job search is that it touches uh, all areas of your job search. And uh, and what I mean by that is with what you're going to learn today on LinkedIn. You're going to learn LinkedIn is a new platform for getting jobs and getting hired, but you're also, what you're, what you're going to learn is going to improve your performance when you're applying for jobs. I mean, think about this. When you apply for a job, you send in your resume, and then they go look at your LinkedIn profile. Well, if your LinkedIn profile is done right, showing the right things, you're going to improve your results from applying for a job. And LinkedIn also improves when you're working with your warm market, the people you know. And it improves your offline networking because those people are going to go look you up on LinkedIn. And it improves how you work with recruiters. So when your LinkedIn really kind of becomes the oil in your car and it touches all of these areas of your job search uh, when you're doing things right. And we're going to learn how to improve our performance in our job search in all of these areas today in addition to learning how to get results on LinkedIn. So I think this is where a lot of you are right now, is you're on LinkedIn and you're wondering, what exactly am I supposed to be doing on LinkedIn? Uh, what can I do on LinkedIn to become one of the people who are getting hired? I do want to point out to you that according to the Department of Labor Statistics, the DLS, uh, 24 million people were hired in the U.S. last year. Now certainly there wasn't much growth in our job market, but just based on turnover and churn in the workforce, 2 million people per month are being hired. I don't know about you, but if I look around online, I don't see 2 million job openings out there. Those, these jobs are not being posted and advertised. These jobs are being filled in other ways, and you're going to learn how to tap into these other ways today with the three strategies for getting hired from LinkedIn. So here we go. These are the three strategies. You need to utilize LinkedIn to differentiate yourself, to stand out from the crowd. You need to utilize LinkedIn to accelerate your offline networking and to be found, be hunted, and be hired. We're going to go through each of these three strategies today uh, in depth. So let's start with the concept of utilizing LinkedIn to stand out from the crowd. You, you must be able to differentiate yourself. With the competition in the job market the way it is, uh, they're, they're, you're not just fighting with the other unemployed people. The, the people that have jobs are looking for better jobs. And so it's harder than ever to compete for the jobs that are out there. And from the other side, from the other point of view, from the recruiter's point of view, the company's point of view, again, that's what I want to show you today is the other side's point of view. Everyone basically looks the same on paper. This is an important lesson for you to understand is um, you're not competing with the people that are not qualified for the job you're going for. Those people don't even get looked at. You're competing with people that have the exact same experience and credentials as you do. That's who you're really competing with. And there's lots of those people out there. And you all essentially look the same on paper. Everyone has a great resume. Everyone has a compelling LinkedIn profile. Everyone these days is working on their own unique personal brand. I mean, if you don't have a compelling profile, if you're not working on your brand, you're behind the eight ball. And there's one flaw in all of these things. They're all based on your words. And people can say anything they want in their resume or in their profile. And we know this on the other side. So 
we don't really believe that much of what you say in your resume anymore. We have to kind of discount what you say. Think about uh, if you're using any of these types of words in your LinkedIn profile or your resume. Uh, if you are, I'd be curious. To go ahead and type in, uh, if, if you think you're using any of these words, type which one of these words you're using into the chat box here. and We'll just do a quick survey and see if you're using any of these words. These are considered the top 10 most overused buzzwords on LinkedIn. And if you're using these words, um, it's a, it's, these are things you want, but you can't just say these things anymore because everybody says these things. And so what we're going to learn today is um, a much better way. And I'm seeing lots of people typing in problem solving, the extensive experience, results oriented. Um, a couple of people are saying no buzzwords. Nice. And um, so what we're going to learn today is that actions speak louder than words. And you guys know this. I mean, the saying is a saying for a reason. And the power of LinkedIn is that a company or recruiter can view you in action on LinkedIn. So instead of just saying that you're results-oriented or innovative, instead of just saying these things, you can actually show them on LinkedIn. You can show that what your written communication skills are. You can show how helpful you are with your coworkers. And that's what companies and recruiters are looking for. They're looking for you to stand out from the crowd by showing these things and proving them instead of just saying them. It's kind of like if we had a webcam that could follow you around at your last job and see how you really interacted with people and see if you really were a hard worker or not. Now, of course, we don't have a webcam to follow you around, but what we can do is on LinkedIn, every one of your profiles has a setting where we can click on and we can see all activity. Now, this is a setting that you need to enable. Having your settings done right is an important part of your LinkedIn. And uh, if you've got this turned on, if you have it turned off, then of course you're not standing out from the crowd. But if you have this turned on, they can see everything that you're doing on LinkedIn. And if you're doing just a little, you're going to stand out from the crowd because most people are not doing very much at all. So you can give an employer some very different views of you on LinkedIn. They can see how you act. They can see who you know, who you in common with them. They can see what other people are saying about you from recommendations or group discussions. And in your profile, you, they can see who you really are. So I would ask you right now, how do they perceive you on LinkedIn? If all you've got is a profile and all you're doing is going around connecting with people, when someone actually goes to look you up, whether you apply for a job or you're networking with them or you're, you're finding you on LinkedIn, when they look at your activity, this is probably what they're thinking about you. And that's not an assumption you want them to make because that's not who you are. You see, if you showed them who you really are, they'd like you, they'd hire you, but you're not showing that off. And when you're out of work, it becomes especially hard for you. Because when you're out of work, there's certain stigmas that start to creep in. You know, there's the stereotype that good workers are never out of work. A company would find a way to keep you if you were one of the top people, uh, right? Well, we and I know that's not true. We know lots of good people get caught up in hard circumstances. But that's part of the stigma you're battling. They start to think that you're not motivated when you're not back to work or that you're not keeping your skills up to date. And what really starts to hurt you at about the 90-day mark, it makes it so much harder to get back to work after you've been out of work for 90 days or more. People start to wonder, why doesn't anyone else want you? How come you're still out there on the free agent market? So these are some of the perceptions that are out there about you. And you've got to combat this by, show, by showing them your actions on LinkedIn, by showing them uh, how you stand out from the crowd. And these are the things that you want to show them. These are the three most important things that companies and employers are looking for. They're looking for leadership, but you can't just say you're a leader. They're looking for people that are respected amongst their peers, and they're looking for people that are well-connected and have resources that they can bring to the table. So what I'm going to show you right now is how you can demonstrate each of these three things through your presence on LinkedIn without it having to take up a lot of your time. So let's start with the number one key to being seen as a leader. It's to start your own group on LinkedIn and to make this group specific to your industry. And you as the founder and leader of the group, that shows that you're taking on a leadership role within your industry and within your community. And what you really want to do is package this up on your profile as a current position. 
This way is how you kind of get credit for being a leader in your industry. So here's your steps to doing this. You want to start your own group on LinkedIn. Groups are simple. Anyone can, have, can start a group. Here's the key to making this work. You want to name your group Leaders In and then plug in whatever your title in your city is. So Leaders In Sales Executives in New York could be a group. You know, Leaders In uh, Marketing Professionals in LA, that could be a group. And then what you want to do is put in your profile all of your activities that you're doing in your job search. And this is how you get credit for all of your hard work in your job search. Job search hunting is hard work, but they're holding it against you that you're out of work unless you package up all that hard work and put it into a position in your profile. And then what actually happens in your group is a secondary strategy. We're doing this for perception reasons. And you want to wind up with a position on your profile that looks like this, and it will make all the difference for you. Here's what people are saying uh, who have their own group out there. Uh, the first one is from Frank, and we were just looking at his profile here. And this is from last summer. Frank literally wasn't getting any calls at all for interviews anymore. He'd been out of work for almost Almost a year and things slow down over the summer we're coming up on the summer again you're going to be facing this coming up again and as soon as he made this change to his profile uh, it says I went from not getting any interviews to getting three calls in his first two weeks next person says my group took on a life of its own with over a hundred members joining in the first 10 days and the last one here <laughs> this just blows me away it says a company contacted me to ask if they could post a job in my group and I got the job. Think about this. When you have that group, companies are going to want to add that group, and they're going to be contacting you, and they're coming to you to post a job, a job that you might want. So that's how you can easily position yourself as a leader in your industry. There's lots of ways to show leadership. That's a simple way. You do it one time, you set it up, and it's done. Next, how can you show that you're respected by your peers? And one of the most powerful ways to interact with your peers, interaction with them is, is the key to showing that you're respected, is through your status update. Uh, your status update is an important part of your strategy on LinkedIn, and it's one of the things that shows up when they click on the See All Activity button. They can see what are the things that you're talking about through your status update, and who's commenting on your status updates, who's interacting with you. If you're talking and no one's listening or interacting, it looks like nobody really cares about you. So how can we show that we're active on LinkedIn without having to spend a whole lot of time on LinkedIn. Here's the strategy that we, we use and I recommend. This will only take you 10 minutes. You do this once a week and it's incredibly powerful. It'll get you great exposure, but it'll also get people commenting on your uh, status updates and it'll sh it'll position you as someone who's highly respected amongst your peers. So what you want to do is share links with industry news write up a two to three sentence slant on the industry news news and then the key is you need to get people to comment on your post and so what we're talking about here is doing a status update like this and putting in a link here and um, when you send this status update out it goes out to your network and that's important in itself but what we really want to do is send this out to our LinkedIn groups and so here's this top secret strategy for doing this and we're actually going to practice this during the Q&A later on. I'll, I'll walk you guys live through doing this, but I just want to show it to you now. After you share the status update with a link, you can double click on the share button and then you can, this screen on the right opens up, you can check off post to groups and you can type in the names of the groups that you want to send your update out to. And what you're going to see here is that when you post your update into groups, let's say you're sending out an, an article about um, sales best practices. And you've given your two to three sentence opinion on it. When you send that out to other groups of sales professionals, they're going to be commenting on that. And because you're putting it in a group where they are. And that's when that shows up in your activity, it's going to make you look highly respected. And you started this discussion, other people have participated in it. Now you're seen as a person who's leading thought-provoking discussions. And so the, the key here is if you just do activity and talk and, and don't put it out into the groups, you're not going to get the interaction. You're not going to get the same benefit that you do. And you don't want to have to go into each of your groups and do this manually. That's very time consuming. So with this, with this trick I've just shown you, you can take that one status update one time and you can post it out to all of your 
groups. Uh, everything we're doing here can be done with, uh, without the paid account on LinkedIn, by the way. Uh, so your status update is mission critical to your success on LinkedIn. Uh, I want to do a quick poll here with you guys. And I want to ask you, uh, how often, uh, or do you, no, it doesn't say how often, it says, do you read your LinkedIn status updates? So these are updates that come from your network. Uh, go ahead and vote now. I'm going to be closing this out in a second here. And um, I think you guys will, will be really surprised uh, to see the results here. I'm seeing that uh, about 50% have voted. Uh, please go ahead and participate in this. Um, this is research will be helpful for you guys. This is, you know, we have 352 people here on the call. Okay, last chance. I'm going to close this. And uh, what we're going to see here is that, um, okay, close, share the results. And 73% of the job seekers that are here today, uh, if you guys can see this now, uh, I've stated that they read these. So almost three out of four. That's tremendously important. This is a great way through your status update for you to stay in touch with your uh, current connections. Remember, me as a recruiter, you know what I'm doing every day. When, I, when a new job comes out, I go to my connections and I say to them, hey, do you guys know anyone for this position? And most people can't think of anyone because you're not staying in front of them consistently. If you're doing status updates and doing them strategically, you're staying in front of your best network, the people that really want to help you. And they'll think of you, they'll remember you, they'll refer you in for positions. So that's why um, the status update, that's number one reason why the status update is, is so important. Uh, there's two other reasons, and we're going to touch on these. First of all, the stat, the, uh, second of all, the status update is one of the first things people see on your profile. So think about this. When someone comes to your profile, uh, this is what they um, see. And it's your status update right under your name before they see your work experience, before they see your summary. You know, everyone on LinkedIn seems to think their summary is so, is so important. Your status update really is important. When I work with people coaching them, this is a big part of what we work on, is how can you do strategic status updates? Talk about if, uh, things that you're reading, things that you're doing, things that people you're interacting with. Very strategic status updates that position you uh, as someone who stands out from the crowd, as opposed to someone who's not utilizing the status updates. Then you just look like everybody else. Remember, it's highly competitive. You need to stand out from the crowd. Now, the next reason that the status updates are so important is that they are searchable uh, via LinkedIn. It's uh, via LinkedIn Signal. Now, this is new, uh, LinkedIn Signal. I'm going to show you how to get this. I'm going to show you how it works. You need to be utilizing this tool. It's very powerful. It's definitely one of our top secret strategies. Uh, so LinkedIn Signal, what it does is it gives you this filtered view of LinkedIn. So if you look on the left-hand side here, you're able to set up the filters of exactly what you want to see. And down the middle here, these are all the status updates from your whole network. And this pipes in their status updates from Twitter, from Facebook. So this is everything people in your network are talking about anywhere on LinkedIn is all here. And it's all uh, searchable with filters. Let's take a closer look at some of those filters so you can see what you can do with this. These are the filters. So um, just as an example, what you could set up a filter that says, I want to follow um, the IT industry in uh, the UK or in San Francisco. And then you can filter by keywords, and anytime anyone talks about hiring, I want to know about that. And then you would you'd get an alert. You'd find out the minute they say they're hiring. You see, Signal is about searching what people are saying in social media, and it's very powerful. Think about if you were going for in for an interview with Bank of America, and in New York, you wanted to you could follow what is everyone at Bank of America in New York talking about today. Think about how powerful that would be going into the interview if you were in tune with what's on the minds with everyone at Bank of America. Very powerful tool. You can use it in a lot of different ways. Um, one of the simplest is just to set up a filter for your city and your industry and, and then the words hiring. Uh, this is what some people are saying from my coaching organization that have been using filter. Uh, the first one says, I found four jobs uh, to apply for within five minutes with Signal. Next says, I got direct access to the hiring manager. He asked me to come in for an interview that day. So the hiring manager was saying the words, hey, we're hiring. And you find the exact person who's hiring. 
The last quote here says, the jobs I found on Signal, I was the only one interviewing for because they had not yet posted them. Uh, so Barry came up with the neat idea of um, not just sort of searching for the words hiring, but searching for the words, I'm going to post a job. And he, he found the openings as they were talking about posting them, before they'd even posting them. Great uh, best strategy there. Now there's one catch with LinkedIn Signal. You're only able to search through your network and three levels deep. You're only able to search through those conversations. So by default, you don't get to search through the conversations that everyone's having. That's really what you want. Because if you don't have any of those Bank America people, if you don't have any of those people that are hiring in your network three levels deep, then Signal's not going to work very well for you. You've got to build out a deep, rich network. If you're limiting the size of your network, what you're going to see is that you're not going to have that many people to search through and Signal's not going to work for you that well. So this is where you go to get LinkedIn Signal. It's LinkedInLabs.com. This is LinkedIn's beta testing site and there's lots of applications in here. This is where I spend most of my time is testing these applications and then in my coaching organization I go back to them and say, you know, this is how you want to use this one. This is what I found works. Or this one's not worth your time. Don't waste your time with it. Uh, but Signal is here. If you scroll down, you'll see it on the left hand side here. You just click on it and you will have installed uh, Signal. So let's kind of recap section one here, how to stand out from the crowd. Um, remember, companies are looking for leaders, and you can easily show that you're a leader on LinkedIn by setting up your own group. You do that one time and you're done. Companies are looking for people that have a respected reputation. Well, you can easily show that on LinkedIn by using the power status update technique that I taught you here today. And we're going to practice that together during the Q&A. And uh, so that will only take you 10 minutes. You just do a status update once a week. And companies are looking for people with resources and connections. And if you build a deep network, you're going to show them that you have lots of resources. That you know, you may not know the answer to every problem that comes up, but you're going to be able to have people that you can go to to get answers. And you know, there's a fourth kind of unwritten skill set that companies want to see these days. They want to see people that know their way around LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a business platform. You can get lots of new clients or customers for your business with LinkedIn. It's not just for job hunting. And so if you know your way around LinkedIn, that's a very valuable skill for you to have at all levels. And if you could just talk about LinkedIn Signal, for example, even if you've never used Signal, just talk about how, hey, with Signal, you can search what people are talking about on LinkedIn. I mean, this is going to be game changing. And that could be a great like icebreaker conversation you could make to show off that you know about LinkedIn. All right, I hope you guys are ready to take it up a notch because we've got 60 minutes for this presentation. We're covering the three strategies for getting hired, and we spent 30 minutes on strategy number one. So we have to fit these next two uh, into the next 30 minutes here. So I'm going to need to pick up the pace a little bit. Get your pens ready as we talk about using LinkedIn to accelerate your offline relationships because it's in the offline world is where more people get hired than anywhere else. And I'm the, I'm the LinkedIn guy, and I'm telling you that, that there's no replacement for real offline face-to-face -face relationships or even talking to people on the phone. And so what that means is LinkedIn, you want to look at your networking on LinkedIn as a stepping stone to real offline relationships. What most people do on LinkedIn is they kind of collect up connections, but they never really do anything with them. They never build real relationships. Now, I want to tell a quick story about my daughter that I think will illustrate this. She's in the fourth grade, uh, great student, but uh, about six weeks ago, she came home with a, she'd been written up in school for talking in class. The first time ever she's been in trouble for anything. And um, also, um, last summer, my daughter stayed home. She didn't want to go to camp. She wanted to stay home with dad. Dad works from home. And so she listened in on me doing trainings last summer. And so when I asked her about you know, getting in trouble, uh, you know, what's up with this talking in class? You know what she said to me? She said, Daddy, I was networking. Networking, really. Talking to kids in school. You think that's networking? And then it clicked to me. You know, that's what a lot of people are doing on LinkedIn. They're not really networking. They're not building relationships. They're just kind of talking to people or collecting connections. I think that story really illustrates how your networking is not really working for you unless it's leading to offline relationships because that's what leads to people getting hired. So LinkedIn is a great place to find the right companies to connect with. It's a great place to find the right people to connect with. It's a great place to make first contact with those people, but don't stop there. 
and, and so you've got to actually take it offline. So let's first start with how do you find these people. This is the advanced search screen on LinkedIn. This comes free with LinkedIn, and this is what you need to be utilizing. You need to type in here the uh, titles of the type of people that you want to look for. You can put in your zip code, and then you can put in some other keywords as well. This is where you're going to find the perfect people for you to network with using advanced search. It's that simple. Let's say I'm looking for a uh, director of marketing position in Chicago. Well, I'm going to search for VPs of marketing in Chicago. That simple. And I'll probably get back a list of a couple hundred if I have a big network. Now, this is another point why having a big network is so important. You can only search through your network and three levels deep. If your network is less than 100 people, you might think, wow, I have a quarter million people in my three levels. Remember, there's 100 million people on LinkedIn. So a quarter million people means you can only search through 0.25% of all the people on LinkedIn. You need to build out a rich network so that you can find more people to network with and so that Signal works for you and, and for many other reasons. I'm, I'm just curious right now, by the way, those of you that have LinkedIn open, I'd like to kind of do a quick uh, survey here and just go ahead and type into the chat box. I don't have a uh, poll for this, but uh, let me know how many connections you have. And it's not a popularity contest, by the way. And one of the things I really like about LinkedIn is they don't show the exact number you have after you hit 500. Once you hit 500, um, no one can tell anymore if you have 12,000 like I do or if you have 501. 500 really becomes the magic number you want to strive for because once you hit 500, uh, people can't tell how many connections you have anymore. And I'm seeing all different variations uh, from people here, uh, but probably only about um, you know 5% of our 363 people here are at over 500. You really, in order to get all these other pieces working for you, in order for Signal to work for you, in order for the search to work for you, you really got to build out a rich network. So how do you get uh, connected with people? And we're, we're going to learn how to actually build an offline relationship. The first line is you've got to get, the first step is you've got to get connected with them on LinkedIn. So here's how I get a 90% connection acceptance rate. I saw one person put in the chat box, they have over 100 outstanding invitations still on LinkedIn. Uh, you need to get people connected with you first. And these are the four steps. First of all, Tell people why you're reaching out to them. Never just send the generic message on LinkedIn. Tell them, hey, um, you look like a leader in the IT industry here in Chicago, and uh, so am I. And so let's connect and combine networks. Very simple message, but by just customizing the message, it lets people know you're not a spammer. Next thing you want to do is offer to help people. Let me know what you're working on, how I might be able to help. Simple note like that. Most people won't take you up on it, but you look like a, a team player by offering to help first. The third strategy, this is what really takes your connection acceptance rate to the next level. And this is another reason why you really need to have your own group on LinkedIn, is invite them to your group. As you're inviting them to connect with you, what you want to say is, hey, I'm also the founder of the group for um, leaders in IT here in Chicago, and I'd like to invite you to my group. Now, they may or may not join your group, and you, honestly, you don't care so much about them joining your group, but you want them to connect with you. So when you say, I'm the leader of the group, you instantly look like someone that they're going to want to be connected with. This is, again, why having the group is so important. And lastly, you want to have a big network, uh, because sometimes people are going to look at you like, a, let's say you're looking for a marketing job, and you're trying to connect with VPs of marketing, they might look at you and say, well, why should I connect with you? I don't think you're going to be able to do anything for me. But if they look at your network and say, wow, you know over 500 people, and I, I bet amongst those people and all their connections, there's some good people in there that I'd like to know about. So they're going to want to connect with you just because they can get access to your Rolodex. So when you use those four strategies together, networking and connecting on LinkedIn is very easy. Almost everyone will want to connect with you. So use those four strategies together. Now here's the two critical mistakes that you must avoid in networking on LinkedIn. And almost everyone falls into these traps accidentally. The first is you accidentally brand yourself as a desperate job seeker. And you see, no one wants to network with a desperate job seeker, let alone hire one. As soon as you talk about you and the fact that you're looking for a job and I want this, you know, or could you please forward my resume to someone who might be looking, you look desperate. 
and that never works. The second mistake people make is just collecting connections. You need to actually build relationships, and relationships are built on an exchange of value. So I'm going to show you how to do this right now. I'm going to open up the files from my coaching club again. Uh, every time you see this screen here, these are the things that I've come up with and that have worked for over the past year with each of my coaching clients. This you need to write down word for word. This is the most important slide we have here. Uh, and this is the key to networking. This sets off a chain reaction of things that lead to you getting hired. It leads to so many things as I'm going to show you here. But this is what you want to say to people. This is after you connect with them, you need to send them this follow-up message. So you're going to write this in a Word document one time and customize it for yourself. And then you're going to copy and paste and send this to each person uh, who you're networking with after they connect with you. Assuming that they're you know, someone who might hire you. So let's do an example. Let's say we're looking for an um, IT manager position in Boston. You're going to be networking with VPs of IT, directors of IT. You're going to, after they connect with you, you're going to send them a note that says, I'm evaluating recruiters who specialize in IT leadership in Boston, in the Boston area. And I'm curious if you're working with any recruiters who specialize in IT leadership in the Boston area. You're asking them if they're working with any recruiters who specialize in whatever your particular area is. Plug in your title in your city here. Here's what happens in this chain reaction once you ask this question. First of all, some people are going to answer you. And if they answer you and say, yes, we're hiring, you just found out if they're hiring without having to ask for a job, without sounding desperate. So that's very important. If you know that a company is working with a recruiter, that means they're hiring. If they're hiring in one area, they're highly likely to be hiring in your area at some point. That's a company you really want to work hard to build relationships in. The second thing, this is the, probably the most important part of this, is you've instantly positioned yourself above the crowd as in someone who's a, really an insider. And what I mean by that is think about these VPs of IT in our example. Every day, people are contacting them, asking them for jobs. And they just have to ignore those people. There's too many of them. They all sound desperate. Now, here comes along someone who's saying, not I'm looking for a job. They're asking, are you working with any specialized recruiters? Now, that VP of IT is going to realize you're trying to find out who the best recruiters are in our industry. Well, you must, you're different. You're somebody who wants to find the best recruiters because you probably want to find the best uh, companies and you want to find the best jobs. You don't want just a job. You, you're looking for a great career. And so you've instantly positioned yourself above everyone else. And that VP of IT is probably thinking, uh, you know, we were maybe going to replace one of our IT managers down the road. I don't know if we have an opening, but this guy seems like this person's different. They're above the crowd. Uh, just by asking a different question, you position yourself above everyone else. Now, the third benefit you get from this in this chain reaction is you're going to find out who the best recruiters are because some people are going to respond back to you and say, hey, yeah, Interpros Consulting is a great small recruiting firm local here in Boston. They just deal with IT managers and, and directors and VPs. And that's a great recruitment firm for you to know about, right? Now, and the fourth thing that happens, this is the most important part, is what we've done here is created and manufactured, we've created a matchmaking opportunity, which means we've manufactured a way to create value for all of these connections. Because most people are going to uh, say no to you. They're going to say, we don't know a recruiter. Uh, they may not even respond at all. And let's say you reach out to 40 VPs of IT. Maybe three or four will respond to you. Uh, maybe another... 10 or 15 are going to say, no, we're not working with any recruiters. The rest are probably just going to blow you off because they don't know you at all yet. And um, so, But here's what you say to them to take this to the next level. This is step two. Well, everyone needs to know a recruiter who specialized in IT leadership here in Boston. And I'm setting out to find the best IT recruiters here in Boston. When I find the top two, I'll report back to you. And I'll let you know who they are. And if you're interested, I'll make an introduction for you. You can add them to your Rolodex. So you send that message to all of your no's and all of your people that blew you off. See, what we're doing here is we're manufacturing a way to create value and to add value to those connections. And by the way, you're also going to find out who the top two are just by the people that answer you. So you're not going to have to do any extra research. This system leads you through it all in a chain reaction. So when you find those top two recruiters, you can then turn around 
and uh, and ask the executives, would you like to meet these top two recruiters? And when you make that introduction, you're creating real value for them. We're on point number three now. You also can get these top recruiters in your pocket now. Uh, all of this is sent via email. All of this you can do with the the, uh, the free account. One, this is once you're connected with these people. And so, because I often hear from job seekers, you know, I can't even get the good recruiters to call me back. Well, that's because recruiters don't need you. Recruiters get paid by their clients. And one client might hire 10 people over three years. That could be worth $100,000 to a client, uh, to a recruiter, one client. So what you're going to be able to do now when you approach these top two recruiters is you're going to be able to go to them and say, hey, I happen to know of about 10 or 12 uh, VPs of IT here in Boston that aren't working with the recruiter who specialized in our industry. And I could see if they might like to be introduced to you. I'd be happy to recommend you and introduce you to these 12 VPs of IT, 12 potential clients I can introduce you to. Well, that recruiter, who's the best recruiter in the industry, they're going to fall out of their chair. Nobody offers to introduce a recruiter to clients. That's what they want to hear. And when you can offer them 10, if you can offer them one introduction to a potential client, that's worth a potentially $100,000 to them. So that's how you're going to get their attention and get to the top of their list. That's how you're going to get them to take your call by introducing them to potential clients. And this systematic way of networking I'm teaching you here leads you through all of this in a chain reaction. And then after you introduce the company and the recruiter, now you've got both in your pocket. You've, built, you've, you've created a real exchange of value. Now they're going to remember you. You're someone that's interacted with them. You're someone that's shown some initiative here to go out and introduce them to someone who's helpful. That's how you get to the top of the list, and that's how you really stand out from the crowd. That's how you build offline relationships. If you were to later on call up one, that executive that you made the introduction to the recruiter, they're going to, want, they're going to take your call now because you've helped them in a real and significant way. And I see some people putting into the chat boxes, you know, do I need the uh, paid upgrade to do this? So you're doing all this through email. This is after you connect with people. But in order to get these people connected with you, um, you sometimes might need in-mails. In-mails is the best part of what comes with the paid account. And it allows you to contact second and third level connections. That's where all the action, the networking is going to take place. That's where you're going to find those 40 VPs of IT. There may not be your connections, but they're going to be your connections, friends of friends. And emails allow you to interact with your second and third level connections. There's one main problem I have with emails is LinkedIn charges us too much. If you look at this, for the $30 a month account, they give us five emails. I mean, that's just a ripoff. That's $6 per email. An email doesn't really cost them anything. So since they're not making this cost efficient, I actually don't recommend you buy the LinkedIn account. If it's a, you know 30 bucks a month is, is is a drop in the bucket to you, then go get it. But if 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 you're on a budget, if you're out of work, I'm gonna, I'll show you a way how you can get this $50 a month account for free. That's what I'm going to show you in the training video. I'm going to show you. I've come up with um, kind of workarounds where you can get everything that's in that paid. Uh, version without having to pay for it, including the in-mails. I'll show you how you can contact anyone anytime without having to buy in-mails. Um, there's one other thing I want to point out, and that's coming up in the, the video I'm going to send you tomorrow. If you joined us late, you missed that. We had to cut that from today's presentation in order to fit everything into an hour. But I'm going to send you guys a video on that tomorrow, and that a video will be available only for tomorrow. So be sure you look for that email and watch that video tomorrow. Um, there's one other thing I want to point out about the uh, LinkedIn paid account is with the basic account, the free account, you can only see 100 search results. Now, this is really important to recruiters and companies, and so job seekers often overlook this. What this means is if I'm looking to hire a uh, VP of marketing in, in Chicago, and I go run a search for VP marketing in Chicago on the company or the recruiter, I only get to, and 3,500 people, I only get to see the top 100. I don't get to see anyone else unless I buy the paid account. With the $600 a year account, I can see $300. With the $1,200 a year account, I can buy the $500. I can see $500. And uh, only 3% of recruiters have the paid account. And no HR professionals usually don't. The hiring managers, executives don't. And a lot of employees go on to LinkedIn to search for people to refer. They don't have the paid account. So what this means for you, what this is so important to you, is you have to get yourself into the top 100 search results for your job title and your city. Because otherwise, no one can find you. You're not even being looked at or considered 
if you're buried down at the bottom of the list of the VPs of marketing, or even if you're stuck somewhere in the middle, they only can see the top 100, and often there are hundreds or thousands of people with the same job title of you. So that's a good segue into our next phase. Uh, I, I would hope if we ended right now, um, you would feel that this is the best training on LinkedIn uh, you've ever been to. And I think the content that you've had so far is is original and unique and will really help you. I, I like to focus on what really works. And I can I can teach you all about all the different other things on LinkedIn, but that stuff, you know, it, it works, but it just takes so much time. The stuff I'm showing you is what works and gets the best results in the least amount of time. And this is not the end, by the way. We are going now into my true area of specialization, how to help you be found, be hunted, and be hired, how to help you get into the top 100 search results. Uh, everything that we've covered so far, and probably everything you do in your job search, everything you're already doing, is to go out there and look for jobs. And I show you the screen to help you visualize how your job search strategy should be. There are things you need to do to find jobs, and there are things you need to do to be found by the people that have jobs. And to get hired fast, you need a balanced approach, a balanced strategy. And most job seekers pour all their efforts into the to find side, and they wonder why it's taking so long. It's because you've completely overlooked doing anything to help yourself be found. Now, the be found jobs are the best jobs because the best jobs are never posted. The best jobs are filled through networking, through referrals, and through recruiters. Only the lowest, the jobs that, that uh, are, are advertised. And the jobs that are advertised have a lot more competition. And the beauty of the Be Found strategies I'm going to teach you today is you do it once. It does take some work, but you do it once and get it done, and it's done. You're now showing up in the top 100 search results, and it pays off for forever. You don't have to do anything on an ongoing basis. And also, be found strategies can be used when you're confidential in your job search. You have two main issues when you're confidential in your job search. First of all, you don't want your boss to know you're looking, so you can't go out there and be super active. So you want to be found. You want to get people calling you. And second of all, you don't have a lot of time when, because you're still working in your job. So again, you need to use your time wisely. Do a few things right once and get the jobs coming to you. Here's what people are saying about Be Found Fast and what you're about to learn. Uh, for the first time, recruiters were calling me about jobs. This is how it should be. Uh, in the previous month, I had zero people contact me. Uh, now nine people contacted me in my first week after implementing these optimizations. And the last one here, an employee found me on LinkedIn and became my internal advocate at the company. Think about that, having somebody on the inside bringing your name up in meetings and every time there's a potential opening for a position. That's what you want. That's what you get when you implement uh, Be Found strategies. So how can we be found? In order to be found, you have to understand how recruiters and companies search for you. Companies, uh, executives at companies, HR people, employees who want to refer you, what they do is come to this advanced search screen and they put in a title and a zip code, and that's usually it. And then they'll start scrolling through people. And that's why it's so important you show up in the top 100 search results. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute. But what, what I want you to understand is that's not how recruiters do it. Recruiters are a little bit smarter. We don't have time to go search through 100 people. Recruiters instead put more keywords in here. You see we've got three keywords listed here. A smart recruiter, uh, one that I've trained, would put six or seven keywords in there. Because then I'm going to get back in my search results a screen that has only three people on it, two or three people. And, but those three people, they match everything in the job description. They match all seven keywords. Those three people are guaranteed interviews. Me as the recruiter, what I do is call those three people and I recruit them. I sell them on the job. If you're one of those three people, you don't have to sell me on anything. You're, you're guaranteed an interview. You need to be one of those two or three people. That's where recruiters get their people from that they interview and that they recruit. And here's the problem. Here's what's been happening to you. Is you had these three keywords on your profile, but you were missing maybe just one of the other words that I put in here of the six or seven words. You didn't just didn't have that word in your profile. And so you don't show up on that two or three person list. And you completely miss out on that opportunity. So what that means is you need to anticipate all the right keywords. 
and put them into your profile so that you can show up in those search results when they use six or seven keywords. We're going to go through all four of these steps here together. Let's start with how to anticipate all the right keywords. It just takes a one-time effort to go out and do this, to do some basic keyword research. Do it, have it done, you'll benefit forever. So what a job search coach would typically tell you to do is go look up some job descriptions, maybe pull up 10 or 20, skim through them and pull out the keywords and put those keywords into your LinkedIn profile. Some of you might have tried this. This is kind of the considered the industry best practice for how you go about building your keywords. Now the feedback I got from the senior level people I work with is they don't really like doing this. It's kind of tedious research work and what they tell me is I feel like I'm guessing Greg. I don't know what the keywords are on this page. That's why I came up with a much better way to do keyword research. And we now do it and I'm going to teach you how to do keyword research using word cloud tools. What a word cloud tool does is it allows you to copy and paste in the job description and it creates this word cloud. And the words that are the biggest are the most important words. So this is fast, it's instant, it's 100% right, you're not guessing, and it's visual. It's kind of easy, it's kind of fun. You just copy and paste it in here, you look at the words, and you then add those words into your profile. You fit them in throughout your profile somewhere. The word cloud tool that I recommend is wordle.net. You can get tremendous advantage in your job search using word clouds. And we don't have time to go into this. I've given you guys already a bonus video on how to do this. Uh, and if you didn't get that, uh, I'll send it to you again. But word clouds are a tremendous tool. Wordle.net is the free word cloud tool that I recommend. So when you built out, when you run, say, 20 job descriptions through Wordle, it'll only take you an hour. It'll be fun. It'll be easy. You'll have all these different words. You fit them into your profile. That's how you're going to show up in those searches when recruiters use six or seven keywords. But what about when uh, an executive or an HR person does a search for your title and your city? How do I get into the top 100? What this is is basically SEO in your profile. SEO is search engine optimization. means most people think of Google SEO. You want to get to the top of the search results on Google. What I've done is invented SEO for LinkedIn. And a lot of people do this now. Uh, it's, it, and so what you want to do is take your main job title and you need to put it into very strategic places. These are five of the most important places. There's actually a lot of complexities that go into LinkedIn SEO. But if you put your keyword into these five spots here, you should be getting into the top 100. And remember, your keyword is your job title. These are the five most important spots for you to put it. Uh, if you really want to get on to page one, which is the best spot to be, you, you would need to all, you know, kind of learn advanced SEO for LinkedIn. Now, you also need to have a big network. You know, we've heard this before. We've seen this slide before, and I hope you see how important having a big network is. So, uh, remember, if I'm a company and I search for you and you match all seven keywords, you're the perfect fit, but I don't share any connections in common with you, I don't get to find you. I can only search through the people that I know. I can only recruit the people that I know in three levels deep. So if you've kept your network small, you are limiting your ability to show up in searches. There are so many benefits that come from building a deep network. You improve your ability to be found, as we've just talked about. You improve your search ability so that you can find more of the right people to network with, as we learned in uh, strategy number two. You're perceived as having more value to offer people, and you're perceived as an insider who knows people, and LinkedIn Signal will now work so much better for you. These are all the benefits you get from building a rich network. I'm, with that in mind, I'm really surprised how many people tell me, um, you know, Greg, I don't know if I want to add a lot of people to my network. I don't know. You know, that's not how I want to use LinkedIn. Or that's not how my friends and I use LinkedIn. We have this trusted network. And here's my response to that when I hear that, is there's no right or wrong way to use LinkedIn at all. I'm not here to judge. But LinkedIn's a tool, and you should be using the tool to meet your objective. If your objective is to get back to work, I think you've just learned here today why you need to build a deep, rich network. And you not need to not care about what anybody else thinks. If you're worried about letting your family down, not getting back to work, you need to build a deep, rich network. And you need to build it fast. Get it done. Once it's done, it's done. And if, if you flip a switch in your account settings, no one will even see that you're adding these people. Your current employer won't know. Your friends won't know. And people don't ask a lot of you. It's still very easy to maintain 
a big network. And if you want to separate and organize your connections, LinkedIn now has tags you can use to group them. So there's really no downside to building your network. Now you don't want to add just anyone to your network. You obviously want to be adding people from your industry and your profession, but in terms of growing your depth, what you want to look for is super connectors. You need to add super connectors to your network. I'm an example of a super connector. When you connect with me, my 12,000 connections that I've worked to build for six years now building these 12,000 connections, when you connect with me, they instantly become your second level connections. You get access to all of them through me and you get access to all of their connections. So you expand your depth, you expand your ability to be found, you expand your ability to search for people, you expand the conversation. The stream you, you have requested signal. is currently unavailable. Million people Please check the event listing just by as the event has either not started or is currently being prepared now, for I'm on-demand viewing and will be available me. shortly. I'm using this as an example. Would you really want to find that's even better than me? You want to find super connectors in your industry and in your city. And this is how you do this. You use this advanced search again and put in your industry, put in your zip code, and then the key is down here at the bottom. This is the part most people don't know about. You can sort how you see the search results by different views. You want to sort it by number of connections. Connections. What that's going to do is it's going to put the people at the top of the list who have the most connections. These are people in your industry, in your city. These are people you need to be connected with these super connectors. In general, you want to start connecting with super connectors just to build some initial depth to your network. You know, adding one person to your network who might be like the perfect person, but they only know 10 people, and they only know 10 people, you really only added 100 people to your depth. Adding one person who knows 10,000 people who can get you a million people in your network, chances are, even though that one person may not be the best person for you, chances are there are a million people, there's going to be a lot of good people that can help you. So that's why you need to build out a deep, rich network. Now, it's not just about getting exposure on LinkedIn. Most people don't have a conversion strategy. A conversion means converting the exposure into results. It means getting your phone ringing, getting interviews, getting job offers, not just getting people to look at your profile. You've got to have conversion strategies on LinkedIn. And building a career brand is one of the best ways you can do this. You must have a brand these days that shows how you're different and better than your competition. Putting calls to action in your profile. If you ask any marketing person or copywriter, would you ever run an advertisement or put something on the internet without a call to action? They'd say, no, that's crazy. That's, that's copywriting 101. You have to have a call to action to tell people what to do next. Well, in your LinkedIn profile, you have to have a call to action to tell people what to do next. And you have to put your phone number and contact information there so that they can call you. When you implement everything we've covered here today, you're going to see tangible results on LinkedIn. If you, LinkedIn shows you the number of times your profile has been viewed and the number of times your profile has shown up in searches. Uh, I'd like each of you, if you're on LinkedIn right now, to go to your LinkedIn homepage and scroll down to the right underneath the banner ad here. You can see how many times your profile has been viewed and how many times you've come up in searches. And I'd like you to input into the chat box the number of times your profile average is being viewed per day. Because what I hear from most people is something like, well, it says, like, I've been viewed eight times in the last week. That means you're only averaging one per day, one view per day. That's just not enough. This is on the home page of your LinkedIn profile here. And the real important metric is the search metric. People don't search on LinkedIn by accident. People that are searching are usually people that are hiring or recruiting. You've got to get yourself coming up in more searches. When you implement all the optimizations I've shown you here, our clients average 10 to 20 views per day. That's instead of getting seven views in seven days. That's a 10 times increase in the number of views you're getting and the number of searches you're getting. That's where you need to be. You need to get in front of the right people, and the right people are the ones that are searching, and they're searching for you on LinkedIn. That's why this is so important to your success here today. Everyone that I'm seeing inputting here, most people are averaging about one per day. So if you're getting you know, even two or three per day, you're doing two to three times better than what the average person does. Um, very few people here, no one's really in double digit views per day 
and that's where you need to be and you can get to with what I've just taught you. Now, LinkedIn's not the only place that companies and recruiters are searching for you. You probably didn't realize this. This is a survey of companies across all industries from uh, ERE.com, a big HR site. Almost the same amount of companies search Google as search LinkedIn. Come on back over to our presentation now. You're not going to want to miss this. Uh, so come back over from your LinkedIn profile and see here how the, the statistics prove that they are looking for you on Google just as much as they're looking for you on LinkedIn. You need to be found on Google. And you're probably not being found on Google right now. This is what uh, people are saying about being found on Google. The recruiter found me on Google and told me I was the only candidate he had so far. When the recruiter found me on Google, it seemed like she was selling me on the job instead of me having to sell her. Uh, one hour after I got the notification that my resume was on page one of Google, I got a call from a recruiter. These are the types of results you get, fast results when you're on Google. Now, we're not talking about being on Google for your name. If you Google your name, you're probably there. But a company or a recruiter that's looking to hire, they don't know your name yet. So what we're talking about is they're going to go search for the title and the city of what they're looking for. They're going to uh, search for, say, a VP of marketing in California. And when they do that, this is what they would find if they put in the right search string, VP marketing plus city plus resume. This is a gold mine for a recruiter. These are people that are not on job boards and probably not that active on LinkedIn. That's why recruiters love to search Google. And this is why you need to be found on Google and you need to be on page one of Google. Being buried on Google doesn't do you any good at all. I'm going to show you how to get yourself onto page one of Google. Uh, ideally, you want to get in the top two spots here. I highlight these two because they're clients of ours. That's what we do. So getting to the top of Google is what search engine optimization is about. You've probably heard SEO. It's a buzzword in business. I mean, every business would love to be on the page one of Google. And so it's common sense that me as a job seeker, I would want to be on the page one of Google. SEO people would teach you that you need to learn lots of different stuff to get on to page one of Google. You're not going to need to know any of this. I'm going to simplify this and give you a three-step strategy to uh, getting onto page one of Google. Very simply, you need to utilize an existing website and upload your resume in MS Word to that website. Okay, this is step one. Next, you need to, let me see if I have a slide for this. Yeah, I think we do. Here we go. Load your resume onto MS Word, onto a web page. Don't create a text-based version of your resume. That's not what recruiters are looking for. They're looking for documents in MS Word. They're looking for your resume. So load your resume in MS Word. Next, you need to optimize the HTML on the web page for your keywords. There's three places you need to put your keywords. In the meta tags, heading tags, and title tags. Now, if you know HTML, those things, it's pretty easy. Just copy and paste your keywords into those things. If you don't know HTML, I don't recommend you go learn HTML. You're better off just utilizing uh, someone who has a web page. Lastly, the key to getting onto page one of Google is you need to get lots of links back to this web page with your resume. Basically, Google thinks the people that have links coming to them are the most important people. If you have, don't have any links coming to you, you must not be that important. And so Google's going to bury you somewhere at the end of the search results. So you can easily build links. It just takes some work. You can go out and comment on blogs and leave a link back to your web page with your resume. And each one of those links counts as a link. And usually when you get to about 50 or 75 links, that's when you'll start to show up on page one. For some keywords, you might need over 100 links. It just takes some effort to build the links. So that's how you would get yourself onto uh, page one of Google. And you, you need to be there on page one of Google. So let's kind of recap here everything that we've learned here today. Uh, we've learned how to stand out from the crowd. We've learned how to accelerate our offline networking. We learned a step-by-step -step networking system. We've learned how to be found and be hunted by recruiters on both Google and on uh, LinkedIn. And let's kind of recap now and put this into an action plan for you guys. Uh, we're going to be going into the Q&A soon, but I wanted to leave you with an action plan as far as what you need to be doing next and what you should do first to kind of help you organize your notes and thoughts from today. The first thing you should be doing is building your keyword strategy. 
you've got to decide, uh, you've got to use the word cloud tool to go out and build a rich profile with lots of keywords, fill out your profiles with lots of keywords, and then you've got to decide what's my primary keyword going to be, what's the word that I'm going to try to show up in the top 100 for, the main job title, and then you want to take that and step two here, you want to optimize yourself for that main title, put that keyword in those main spots that will get you on your way to being optimized. Then, then I would recommend you set up your own group. We've learned today why setting up your own group helps you be better positioned as a leader and how it helps improve your, uh, your uh, speed at networking because people are going to want to connect with you when you tell them you're a group leader. So set up your own group. Make sure you do it right and name it right. Next, I would recommend you be building your network. Work on this. You can, something you can start today. Get to that 500 mark and make sure a lot of them are super connectors. Seed your network with super connectors. It just takes effort. It's not hard. Set aside two or three hours a day for the next seven to ten days. Get your network to that 500 plus so that everything else works so much better for you and you'll be done. You'll be done. You won't have to keep doing it forever. You'll have that for the rest of your life. Next, I would in uh, install LinkedIn Signal. Go to LinkedIn Labs, download LinkedIn Signal, set up some filters. Uh, so that you can start getting those leads because that'll get you instant fast leads, but it won't work until you've built your network. Next, uh, so that's kind of phase one. And some of you may have already done some of those things and you're ready for phase two. Phase two is you want to have a conversion strategy. You want to start working on your brand, putting some calls to actions, maybe read up on copywriting. But if, if you're not getting any phone calls from LinkedIn, it's because you don't have a conversion strategy involved uh, in your profile. Uh, start working on building a brand. You then I would recommend you start working at being found on Google. Be found on Twitter. Twitter is another important place for you to be found. You don't need a Twitter account, though, but you want to be found on Twitter. And set, uh, start monitoring your results on LinkedIn. Look at your metrics. Make some tweaks. See if your numbers go up. And then make some more tweaks. Build on what works. So as we go into the Q&A next, I also want to ask for your feedback on today's presentation. This is the type of feedback we typically get at this point. Is Greg, this has been an awesome training, uh, but it just sounds like a lot of work to do. Uh, is there any way you could make this easier for us? Is there any way, Greg, you could show me step by step exactly what to say and how to do it all? And could you kind of coach me along the way? Um, this is another thing I'm seeing people put into the chat box here today is, you know, I've taken pages of notes. I don't know about you, but this is where my notes go to die. Uh, you have all the information today that you need. There's not anything else you need to go out and learn, but you need to go out and implement. And so what most people ask me for, Greg, is there any way that you can help me bridge the gap between information and implementation? You know, I know that I need to be found on Google, but how exactly should I do that? Could you kind of walk me through the steps? Could you, imp could you help me with the implementation? Well, that's what most of you have been asking for. And that's why I put together two follow-up 45-minute video trainings. These are tutorials for you where I go live onto LinkedIn and do everything that you've seen here today. So this isn't teaching you anything new. And you've learned everything you need to do on LinkedIn here today. But this is about making it easy. So the first training video is LinkedIn exposure secrets to be found. So I go live into your profile and I show you how to do optimizations and you can just kind of pause it and do this as you go. And the next is your conversion secrets. I mean you could go read three books on copywriting to get yourself up to speed or you could just watch me do it and see where I put calls to action and see how I build a brand and see what, the, what I do to get your phone ringing on LinkedIn. And you can pause the video and you can do the same things. Uh, also with this training, by the way, I'll include a recording of today's training. Today's training was not recorded, but I have a previous version of this training uh, uh, that would be available if you decide to purchase these trainings as well. This gives you everything you need for exposure plus conversion. That's the formula for success. You need to get the right people viewing your profile and you need to get them calling you. Now our trainings are normally $197 each. Because we have sponsors here today, um, you're not even going to have to pay that. And this is some of the other feedback I'm starting to see people putting in here today is, you know, Greg, I, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do all this. And I'm not sure if I can do it all. You know, I really just want it done right, and I want it done right now. Is there any way, Greg, that you could just do it all for me? Clearly, you know what you're doing from what you've seen us here today. I mean, we went through a lot, 
And for me to think that I'm going to go back through and do all this on my own, you know, just based on my notes, that's asking an awful lot. I'd really rather just have you do it all for us. And so that's what our Be Found Fast program is. It's a complete done-for-you program. You get our recommendations on your keyword strategy, and we'll do your keyword analysis for you. Then we'll go into your profile and put your keywords in all the right places until you're showing up in that top 100 search results for your job title in your city, and we'll keep working at it until we get you there. Next, we'll go in and create your group for you. We'll make sure that your group is done right, that it's named right and set up right, and we'll create that position on your profile that positions you as a leader. Then we'll go in and build out your network. I mean, this part would take you two hours a day for the next seven to ten days. And we, what we have is a list of 500 partners that are all super connectors. And when we connect you with these 500 people, you're adding over 50 million people to the depth of your network. So instantly, everything else will work better for you when we build out your network with these super connectors. We'll then go in and install LinkedIn Signal for you, and we'll set up your filters so that you'll be instantly getting leads from LinkedIn Signal. Next, we'll implement a conversion strategy for you. So don't go out and learn to be a copywriter. Just let us go in and do that for you and do it custom for you. Next, we'll implement a LinkedIn branding strategy for you. Then we'll go out and get you onto page one of Google. We guarantee to get you to the top of the search results on Google for your keywords so that you're there on page one. And then we'll help you be found on Twitter. And we'll set up tracking so that you can see your results each step of the way. So this is a complete done for you program. Once it's done, you'll be found on LinkedIn, Google, and Twitter. You'll get your phone ringing. You get it all done right and fast, done once, and you benefit forever. This is not I teach you. This is we do it all uh, for you. If you want proof that our Be Found Fast program works, we have over 300 testimonials on our blog. What our clients love is you get tangible and visual results. You can see the search results going up. You can see the views going up on your profile so that you know this stuff works. And you can see yourself on page one of Google. You can see all the great connections we're adding to your network. Uh, we were featured in the Wall Street Journal Career Marketplace in 2009 and 2010. This is our third year in a row doing this. Uh, we get, I get emails like this one from Yuli Porton every day. It says, following your program, it worked perfectly. The same afternoon, I replied to a job posting on LinkedIn after a lengthy application process. I actually got the job, and I'll be starting this week. I think Yuli was a little skeptical when he decided to hire us to do this for him, because he says, I actually got the job. Like, he was surprised that it worked for him. Uh, Danny Scott, he wrote us a song about the results that he had for us. He was so touched by how fast we helped him get back to work. Uh, when you go to our website, I'll give you in a moment, you'll, you'll get to hear this song. And, and you know, whether you're interested in our program or not, you'll want to hear this song from Danny. It's really touching. Uh, this is from LinkedIn. This is not from me. This is uh, LinkedIn. You can run this report on your profile and see how many of your connections got back to work. According to LinkedIn, 499 of my connections have landed new jobs already in 2011. And if you run the report for last year, it says 4,235 of my connections uh, got back to work last year. And I only have 12,000 connections. So that means the odds are one out of three that you'll be back to work fast. Uh, when you connect with me and when you work with us. I certainly can't take credit for all 4,000 people, uh, but the odds are pretty good when you work with us. Uh, I offer a complete 100% guarantee of your satisfaction. Now, let me be clear about this. I can't guarantee anyone a job, right? No one can guarantee you that. Uh, and there's no one in the world you can pay them money and they can promise you a job. But I do guarantee to get you in the right places to be found. And with what you've learned today, when you're in the right places to be found, the jobs will find you. So this makes this completely risk-free for you to try. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, you get your money back. If you don't like it, you get your money back. I'm not afraid to give you your money back. Look at this quote uh, from, from uh, Doug. He says, you know, I joined the program. He was frustrated with trying to get something scheduled, and I refunded his money. But it says what I really wanted was just to get his help on getting found. And I'd like to rejoin and pay the funds that were refunded if I could. I find Greg's content worth every penny. You know, I if somebody complains to me in any way, I'll, I'll, I'll refund your money. That's why you, if you Google us, you will not see one single complaint about us out there at all. If I can't help you, I don't want your money. 
Now, I'm not promising you a job, and that's not fair for you to judge me. Well, you didn't get me a job, Greg. I want my money back. That's, that's not what I'm promising to do for you. I'm promising to help you be found on LinkedIn, and I stand behind that promise. So this should help you decide if our program is right for you or not. On the left-hand side here are the three types of people that our program works consistently, it works fast, and it works perfectly for. Well, most of you are going to kind of fall in the middle of these two categories, but on the right-hand side are the people our program does not work as well for. I'm being honest with you about that. So let's go through each of these together. If you're any one of these three on the left, our program, you're the ideal fit for our program. It says first, if you mainly need to get in front of the right people. If you're the type of person that would say to me, Greg, if you can get me in the door, if you can get me in front of the right people, I'll do the rest. They like me. I'm good at what I do. I just need the exposure. I need to get in front of these people. That's exactly what we do. Then you're perfect for this program if, you're, if that's the type of person you are. Or if you're the type of person who is seeking corporate jobs or upper level jobs, obviously if you're both of these, that makes you an even double good fit. But there is so much search volume out there for corporate positions and upper level positions that even if you're an average job seeker, if you said, you know, I don't, I don't know if they're going to like me or not when they interview me, but just because of the amount of volume and exposure you can get, increasing your exposure by tenfold, you're going to get fast and consistent results if you're seeking corporate positions or upper level jobs. And the third category within these are or, so or if you're looking for a confidential lead for a position, then you really want to use these be found strategies because it's the best use of your time and it's the only way you can ensure the jobs come to you and you never risk compromising your position. So any one of those three, you're the ideal fit for our program. There's a lot of people that are going to be in the middle. Let's go through the people that are not as good for our program. Uh, if you don't know what kind of job you want, it's hard for me to help you. If you're the type of person, uh, you have to be able to tell me, Greg, when they search for this title in this city or these titles in these cities, that's where I want to show up. That's what I go do for you. If you can't tell me that, it's hard for me to help you. Uh, if you're looking to promote a website, that is not what this program is designed to do. I have had business owners go through this program, people that are consultants go through this program, they've all been very happy, but I'm just being honest with you, we don't customize our program for that and that's not what this is designed to do. And if really you're just looking to promote your website, there are better things out there for you. Uh, also uh, English, um, we, we only have staff that speaks English. Now I've done optimizations for people all around the world, people in the UK, Australia, Canada, Asia. But I can only do the optimizations in English. We just don't have the staff to work in other languages. So that should help you decide if you're the right fit for our program or not. Uh, for those of you that enroll today, I'm also going to include our career branding workshop. And the career branding workshop is taking place next week. This is normally sold separately. This is a step-by-step -step career branding building program. So it'll be just like today, but more interactive. You'll have fill-in-the-blank exercises. You'll create a brand and then I'll critique it for you. So you'll have your brand done. Don't, don't go read a bunch of books and blogs on brands and spend a month on this. You'll have this done by next week. You'll have all your optimizations done by next week when you utilize our Done For You program. So the website that you want to go to get our help, it's BeFoundCoaching.com. That's a special website I've set up just for the webinar, just for today. Um, you have two choices. You can get the do-it-yourself videos for $2.97. You can get our Done For You program and as a thank you from our sponsors today, they've actually agreed to subsidize our Done For You program so that you can get everything we've covered here today for only $394. Now the Be Found Fast program alone, if you go over to BeFoundJobs.com, you'll see that there for $597. That's what our program sells for every day. Our sponsors are kicking in the difference. And again, I want to thank them. I'm going to bring up that slide with them back up in a little bit here today. That's how you're able to get this for $394. You'll also get the training videos, which walk you through everything step by step and go into even more advanced strategies. And you can come to that career branding workshop next week. So to get everything, you want to go to BeFoundCoaching.com. Be sure to use coupon code WEBINAR. That's how you get the discount. Uh, space is limited to the first 21 clients. This is a service. You know, we have over 300 people that are still here on today's call, and I'm not going to be able to help everyone. This takes a lot of our time and effort. We do everything manually for you, but we save you all that time and effort. We'll get everything done within a week's time for you. Uh, but I can only help 30 clients at any given time. We already had nine people that had enrolled this week. They all paid full price and are very pleased 
with what we've done for them. And um, you're getting an incredible offer and deal today. And not everyone can be on page one of Google also. We limit ourselves to only taking five clients from a job title in a city. After that, we block that out, and um, not everyone can be on page one of Google. So one of the things I'm going to ask you to do today when you enroll is to let me know your job title just to make sure that uh, we can still help you. Um, the gap in your resume is widening. I mean, every week you're out of work, it's costing you thousands of dollars. If I can help you get back to work just a few weeks faster, if I can help you get back to work in the next few weeks instead of the next few months, think about how much that would be worth, worth for you. That is what we do for you. Um, I want to share with you real quick a survey of our clients we did at the end of last year. Some of you may have participated in this. Uh, and so um, this was some of the feedback we got from people that didn't enroll in our program and you might be interested in why they didn't enroll and you might be thinking some of these things. Uh, the first says, you know, Greg, I don't want to just hand it all off to you and have you do it. I want to learn how to do it. LinkedIn is a really important skill for me to be developing. I want to learn how to do it. The next point says, you know, I want to maintain control over the process. You know, my reputation is very important to me on LinkedIn. I don't want you to be in there and risk that something's going to go wrong. And, you know, I, I don't know if I want to give out my password to you either, Greg. I don't really know you that well yet. Well, so I've listened to your feedback and I've built a solution for you. What we've built is an upgrade where essentially you will do your optimizations and you'll be there live with us watching and on the phone with us as we do it. So it's kind of a one-on-one -on -one consultation where you watch and learn everything that we're doing. This makes it a collaborative experience and it's even better because now as we're doing things you're making suggestions and that takes it to a higher level. And also you maintain control, total control. If we do things and you know you don't like them, uh, you don't want us to do a certain thing, you just tell us and we skip that part. And also this way you never have to disclose your password because you're there you log in and we do it all there with you, with you watching. So the upgrade is a $300 upgrade. Obviously there's some additional labor costs and coaching costs for me to staff people to do this for you. But I'm going to include that as well for those of you that enroll today. And lastly, I'm going to include up to six months in my coaching club. My coaching group coaching club, we meet every week. We do uh, trainings just like today. And I answer questions. I critique your profile if you want to volunteer. And um, we meet every week. And so this is like having me there to support you and help you on LinkedIn every week. I tell you what's new on LinkedIn. My coaching club has had signal for months now. Most everyone gets back to work within the first two months. That's why I can offer you six months here. I know you're probably not even going to need all six months. So that is included for everyone that enrolls uh, before 1 p.m. today. So just to recap everything that's included today, when you go to BeFoundCoaching.com, you're getting the complete done for your program, a $600 value. That's everything done for you to be found on LinkedIn, Google, and Twitter. You're getting the training videos. You're getting the branding workshop. You're getting the one-on-one -on -one upgrade and up to six months of group coaching. Uh, you know, this is not like some webinars where they throw in a bunch of eBooks and videos to make the value look inflated. This is all services. These things all take my time and my team's time to do all of this for you and we're saving you all of that time and effort. We're getting everything done within one week's time so that you can start getting results and get back to work sooner. So when you go over to BeFoundCoaching.com, this is what the website looks like. You want to click on the Act Now button or the Add to Cart button and uh, that's how you're able to enroll. When you click on Act Now, this is the screen that's going to pop up. Follow along with me here for a second if you're uh, thinking about enrolling. Uh, we want to make sure you get this part right. This is where you put in your coupon code. You have to put in the coupon code webinar and click apply in order to get that bonus, uh, in order to get the bonuses and the thank you. So the opportunity to be found is before you here today. We're only going to be able to help 21 people. So don't let this opportunity wash away and miss your opportunity to be found. You don't want to be sitting here next month. There are some people on this call I see that were here last month, and I'm glad you're back again, but the reality is you're back again and still looking for work because you didn't do this last month. And you're probably kicking yourself for not doing it last month. You're doing it now, and you've kind of wasted a month. So we're going to be going into the Q&A next. Now is the time for you to please input your questions into the chat box. I'm going to be taking questions starting with now. Questions related to LinkedIn. 
uh, and kind of building on what we've covered here in today's training so that you get even more out of this Q&A session here today. Uh, we are going to need to wrap up the Q&A uh, before 1 o'clock. Uh, that's when I have a hard stop coming up. Uh, in the interest of time, I'm not going to be able to go back through things that were in the presentation or repeat things. Uh, also, some people are asking for the slides uh, or a recording. I don't make that available because this is a training that I get paid to do. I do have a previously recorded version of this that's available uh, to members. And uh, also, you're going to want to stick around for the free surprise bonus that will be coming up in just a few moments here. So let me go into the Q&A button. There was a question here um, from someone that was in the UK asking if our program would work for them. Um, our program, because Be Found Fast is based on uh, keyword optimization, our, profile, our program works no matter where in the world you're based because it's about keywords. It's about getting you to show up higher in the search results for those specific keywords. So no matter where in the world you're uh, located, uh, we can help you get onto page one of Google. We have got lots of people in, internationally, certainly lots of people here in the US. Um, okay, Steve was asking, when you're not working, what do you put in your title? Well, that's a good question, Steve. When you're not working, you have kind of a double whammy going against you. First of all, people are going to look at your profile, and if they see you're not working, that's an instant red flag to them. They're going to start wondering, what have you been doing all this time? That's why it's so important that you create your own group, and then you can put that as your current position on your profile. That's going to help you look better. And we're not trying to trick people into thinking you're working. You always want to do things with honesty and integrity. But if you're showing them, hey, this is what I've been doing while I've been working, looking for work. I've been leading this group. That's legitimate positioning. Now, there's another thing that happens, Steve, when you're out of work, you don't have a current job title. And that's the most number one spot for keyword optimization is to put your keywords in your current job title. If you don't have a current job title, you're not going to show up in the search results at all. You're going to be way down the bottom. So the stream you, you also need to put your unavailable. keywords Please into check your the current event job listing, title. And you can do that by creating your own being prepared for on -demand viewing Okay, and Michael was asking, how portal. can you hide some of your connections. There's no way to selectively hide some of your connections, Michael. That's a good uh, technique that LinkedIn could uh, offer and a good suggestion for you to make to them. Uh, right now, it's kind of all or nothing. What, what I recommend is that when we're building your network, we tweak some things so that people don't see you adding all these people. And then after we're done building, we reopen things again. And what people are going to see is you've got this big, rich network. Now, rarely will somebody go look at your connections and just kind of scroll through them. I mean, who has time to go do that? Uh, but, but you don't want them to see as you're building all these people, especially if you're confidential in your job search. And so really tweaking your account settings, that's one of the things we do for you in the uh, done for you as well. Because you want to make sure you're showing the right things. You want to show all of your activity. That's not showing up by default. And you want to be showing that. That's how you stand out. But you don't want to be annoying people with updates with all kinds of little things. Um, someone was asking if I could go back up to the slide with everything that's included here today, so I'm going to hop back over to that for Mary. Uh, the price is $3.94, Mary, when you use coupon code webinar. You use that coupon code, and that's only good over at BeFoundCoaching.com. Do not go to our main page, BeFoundJobs, uh, because that's where the program is for sale for $5.97 without the bonuses or the upgrades. Uh, you get everything when you enroll today, and that special is good until either we sell out or until uh, 1 p.m. Eastern today. Uh, Patrick was asking about the advanced search feature. We've talked quite a bit about that today. That is available with the free program, and that if you are on your LinkedIn, Patrick, that's all the way to the right-hand side is where you want to scroll to uh, look at that. And you'll see a button there that says search, and then you'll see another button that says uh, advanced search. That's where you want to go um, to access the advanced search. Now, remember, if you're searching and you don't have a rich network, you're not going to see that much. You really need to get your network built out in order for the search to work for you, in order for you to show up in the search results. That's why that's such an important part of our Done For You program, uh, building out your network, because everything else will work so much better for you. Um, there was a question about the paid account. That's going to be a, a, a bonus video I'm going to sh send out tomorrow. Remember, I don't recommend you get the paid account. You don't need it. Um, with this bonus I'm going to send for you tomorrow, I'll show you how to get it. So this will save you 
uh, fifty dollars a month for the rest of your life. You won't need this anymore. What I want to do now is I want to pause and I want to welcome some people to our program and just acknowledge those people that have taken action and enrolled right now. And um, as I read your name, what I'd like you to do is um, put into the chat box your job title. I just want to make sure you're in one of our spots that are still open. We have some spots that are closed out. Uh, so if you've enrolled, uh, please input your job title into the chat box here. So I want to welcome Fernando Rivera, uh, Richard Valero, James Phelps, Michael Doble, Wayne Bellinger, welcome Wayne, Paul Gavin. Again, as I read your name, please input your desired job title into the uh, chat box here. Uh, I think I said Paul Gavin, Brent Peters, Chris Johnson. Um, this next one says Asia West. I'm not sure if that is a business name or maybe you just have a, a business name set up for your PayPal or something. You can use PayPal or credit card, by the way. And again, this comes with a 100% uh, guarantee of your satisfaction. And that really makes this risk free for you to try. There's not a single piece of bad news out there from you uh, about me. And as I've shown you, I, you know, I'm not afraid to give you uh, your money back. Let me just continue welcoming people here. And as I do this, um, one other thing I want to advise you is um, after you enroll, you, you get a kickoff video that kind of gives you directions for getting started. Just go ahead and pause that right now and stay with us here as we come through this. Uh, please also input your job title into the chat box if I read your name. So some more people that have joined us here today. Uh, Carol Robbins, welcome to you. Peter, I think it's Panagodiados, welcome. Brett McClure, Lowell Berg, John Torretta, Anthony Pace. Uh, I'm seeing some people inputting their titles here, but not everyone yet. Please go ahead and do that, please. Uh, Richard Wright, Linda Roskowski, uh, Thomas Jacobs, John Price, Jim McFarland, and Carolyn Christian. Welcome to all of you that uh, have joined us here today. Uh, I think that was 17 names, so that means there's four spots left in the program. If you're thinking about doing this, now is the time for you to act. Otherwise, you're going to be trying to do all this over here on your own on the next month, or you're going to be right back here next month trying to hire us, wishing you had done this. Uh, so let me uh, just read through a few of these people. If I didn't read your name, by the way, I apologize. Uh, it's a little hard for me to tell where I left off. I may have missed some people. But Ed put in that he's looking for a controller, treasurer job. Uh, we've helped lots of people in finance, Ed. Um, so um, that, that's going to be uh, right in our sweet box. Um, uh, I think it was Sharon, let me make this open so I can see the name. Sharon put in, she's looking for a project manager in IRS, uh, HR, IRS, uh, so human resource project manager. That's a real good job title because you're very specific with what you're looking for and we can really uh, help you with that, Sharon. Um, Christopher put in sales account manager. Uh, we've helped lots of people from sales. What you want to do is you want to build that into a more specific keyword. Uh, Christopher, and we'll work with you on that. Uh, Lucia put project manager, Chuck put account executive. Again, these are examples of keywords that are good titles, but from a keyword strategy, you need to build these out into more richer keywords so that you come up with even more uh, uh, searches. And what I mean by this, Chuck, is an example. Let's say you were a technical sales account executive. If we built that as your keyword phrase, Account executive is still a subset of those four words. So you're still going to show up for account executive, but also you're going to show up for these other searches now. So that, that's part of what we'll be counseling you on. That's the, the part that's hard to do on your own. You really have to understand how recruiters search uh, to come up with the best keyword strategy for you. Uh, Georgiana put in a social media and digital engagement manager. Okay, that's a little bit long. So in your case, we need to kind of fine tune this a little bit. Maybe just take out the and. Um, and um, you know, we'll, we'll work with you on that. Uh, Pete put in supply chain director, uh, Susan Lowe, employment specialist. It was a senior product project manager um, from LaRue. Michael was product manager. Paul was director of construction. These are all titles that we've helped people with. Uh, VP securities lending was Fernando. Uh, okay, this says Asia West is for Lisa Albano. Title is SVP sales and marketing. Um, also, Brent put in channel management. Uh, Joe was asking, will this work for a consultant looking for clients? Um, I'll tell you, Joe, um, if, there's two things. If you're looking for like contract consulting that's filled through recruiters, then our program would definitely work for you. 
Uh, if you're looking for consulting and you pretty much use your LinkedIn as your web page, then our program would really work for you. Uh, if you're looking to kind of drive people over to a website, that's not really what this is designed to do. Uh, there was another person here who put in project manager. Uh, and so I think we've gone through most of the titles here. Thanks to everyone for putting that in. Let's um, continue on with answering your questions here today. Diane is saying, I tried to find you with Google. Um, I'm not sure what you're, if you're putting in my name, Diana. It's Greg Wells, Greg with an I. I'll put that into the chat box for you in case you're having troubles uh, spelling it. And let me also put our link in there. I'll, I'll, send, I'll send this out to, uh, to everyone uh, so that you can get this here. And uh, again, it's BeFoundCoaching.com. And again, it's space in the coaching that's so limited. We have very limited space in our coaching program. Uh, after today, after we're full, you still can get our done for you program at Be Found Jobs, but it'll be at the regular price. Our sponsors are only subsidizing these first 21 people, and it won't be with the coaching upgrade, either the weekly coaching or the one on one consult. Those are the things that uh, are included only today. Those are normally all sold separately. Uh, if you happen to be over at our Be Found Jobs site, um, you know, that's not where you're going to get the special offer. It's BeFoundCoaching.com. Uh, um, we're running a little bit short on time here today. Let me try to get back to the Q&A. If I don't get to everyone's questions here today, what I'll try to do is send you an email uh, you know, with the answers to your questions here. Uh, because I do want to help you on LinkedIn in any way that I can. And you know, I like answering your questions. I like helping you guys. And also, your questions let me know what areas I should do more training on. Um, so there was a question uh, from Fernando, should I put on LinkedIn that I'm enrolled in a professional certification program? Definitely, and you want to talk about that through your status updates as well. Uh, Kevin was saying, should I combine multiple job postings into a similar title um, for Wordle? Yeah, so over at Wordle, you want to do just individual job titles there. That's the best way to do that. Um, Alan was saying, is there a less expensive way to see all of the people who's viewed your profile? Okay, Alan, now without the paid account, I'll talk about that in the video tomorrow. I'll address that. It really doesn't work, Alan, even with the paid account, because you have to opt in. Um, you can't really see who's seen your profile. Uh, I know we'd all like to see that. Uh, Alejandro was asking about deleting connections. You can do that. In our, see, these are the types of questions in our coaching program. I could actually go live onto LinkedIn, and I could show you how to go do that. Um, we obviously won't have time to you know, show things live on LinkedIn here today. Uh, so we was saying if you're in a retail job, how would you present yourself to get a corporate job? Okay, that's where the branding is really going to come into play, Sharu. You really got to build a brand that shows how your skills are uh, going to make you different and better than someone else you're competing with who has corporate experience. The branding workshop will really help you with that, Sharu. Uh, I hope you're able to make that next week. Uh, how can we see who is viewing us? Bradley was saying again without paying. Uh, I'll talk about that in the video tomorrow, but that really doesn't work. It's kind of a misleading function uh, that LinkedIn tells you that it works. Uh, again, we'd all love to see who's viewing us. But if people don't opt in to have their information shown, then it doesn't show anyways, even when you do pay for it. Uh, how do you use keywords to help relocate to another city? You've got to put those keywords strategically throughout your profile, Marsha. Uh, relocation is very challenging, as I'm sure you're seeing here. Uh, companies are hesitant to consider people that are not local. And so, um, you know, that's a big part of what you're facing. You really need to have everything working for you if you're going to successfully relocate. You need to have all the BFOUND strategies going. You need to be doing all the right networking strategies with people in your new city. Um, it, it, that can make it really, really challenging. Let me just stop here and go back to our list of people that have joined us here today and just welcome some people. Um, I, I think we are just about at capacity now here today. Uh, this says Ms. Benha Rayati. Uh, welcome. If, again, if I read your name, if you could input your title into the chat box, please. Uh, Philip Summers, Jessica Chin, uh, Cynthia Starks. I may have read some of these names before now. I'm, not, I'm just going to read some more here just to make sure we get everyone. Charles Biblia, uh, James Stackhouse, Rosanna Nadu, Michael Ward, Dirk Hankett, uh, it says uh, Jesus Furman Acosta, uh, David Hewitt, William David Cook, Sharon Cook, Mark Peachy, Asia West. So I think I'm repeating some now. 
Uh, also, I wanted to mention that there was one person who looked like they signed up at the 597 price. Uh, maybe you didn't get the coupon code to work for you. Uh, that was, uh, I think it was Patterson. Uh, no, here it is, James Phelps. Uh, and uh, also Fernando Rivera. Um, so um, w don't worry about that, guys. I'm going to go back and I'll credit that for you. And uh, so you will see the 597 charge. You already did the charge. There's nothing I can do about that. But I'll go back in and I'll credit you the difference, the 203. And as long as you signed up at VFound Coaching, you'll be getting all of the bonuses. If you accidentally signed up at our other web page, uh, be sure to let me know right away. Also, I did see one or two people that put into the chat box they were having some problems with getting the web page to load. Uh, if you're having technical problems, um, you know that's obviously not your fault. That would be the only exception I would make. You can email me and let me know, and um, you know I'll make a spot for you in our program, even though we are uh, officially sold out now. Um, and so, but if you're having technical problems, you know I'll make an exception for you. Uh, also, so Richard Patterson was the third person that actually paid the 597. And Richard, it looks like you may have accidentally signed up twice. You, you went back in and did the 394 and the 597. Maybe it wasn't going through the first time. That sometimes uh, happens. Uh, if that happened to you, um, uh, don't worry. Again, I'll credit that back. And Richard, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to go in and just cancel out the 597 one completely so there will be just the 394 enrollment here. Uh, so what that means is there's actually uh, one spot left here because I'm canceling Richard. He was taking up uh, two spots here in our program. And so there's, there's one spot left. If you want that last spot, uh, now is the time to act. Uh, the card will be closing down soon, and our sponsors have only agreed to subsidize these 21, uh, first 21 enrollments. So after today, uh, you won't be able to get the bonuses. Um, you'll need to uh, you know, pay the full price. Let me go back into the Q&A here and just try to crank these out in the time we've got left here. Uh, Marsha was asking, how do we use keywords uh, to help relocate? Oh, okay, I said that there. We answered that one. Um, Bill was saying something about shorthand. My sh Greg, shorthand is not what he used. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think he's just making a joke with me there. Um, Let's see. Let's go back down to our chat box. And if you have questions, now is the time uh, to please input these. And please keep the questions on LinkedIn here. Um, I do have some people that have asked some questions about some other things here. Um, and um, you know, again, Sam was saying uh, he spoke a lot about the importance of the city zip code. He lives in city number one, but really wants a job in city number two. Uh, so in that case, I'd recommend we'd set up your whole LinkedIn strategy around city number two. LinkedIn kind of forces you into a location, but uh, you also can put your keywords still in strategic places and still get some search visibility for your other places. And, and same thing goes on Google. You want to set everything up around desired location as your primary, and then you can have secondary keywords. That's part of what we coach you through. You know, keyword strategy is a little bit complex. Uh, what was the message to send to super connectors that aren't recruiters, Gerald was asking. With super connectors, it's not that important what you say to them. The reason they became super connectors is they, um, they you know, connect with anyone, Gerald. So uh, the, the, message is what, when the message is so important is when you're networking with you know, people that are your um, executives at kind of a higher level than you are. That's where it's real important what, that what you say to them. You want to tell them why you reached out to them. You want to invite them to your group. Those are kind of the two key things there. Don't mention that you're looking for a job. Uh, Kevin was saying the Wordle program, that runs online. You don't have to download anything to your desktop. It's wordle.net, not .com. Uh, Bill was asking for a copy of the presentation. You know, We've covered that, Bill, that this is what I get paid to do, so I don't have this presentation going around. Um, OK, so um, what I want to do next, right before we get into the bonus, is our last thing. I just want to address uh, those of you that have enrolled. I want to welcome you to our program again. I just want to go over a few things. Uh, what you've got on your screen is our kickoff video. Please pause that video right now. We can come back to that in just a moment. It's only about a seven or eight minute video. It recaps everything, tells you what you need to do next. Uh, what it's going to tell you to do is there's a link below the video that you need to click on. And when you click on that link, that brings up our schedule. And that's where you're going to see our whole calendar. And you can pick which time slot you want. We have lots of spots available for next week for you to do your consultation. 
and uh, we have evening spots, we have morning spots, even weekend spots. And, uh, and so you'll schedule your spot. Actually, before you get to the calendar, you, there's an intake form. So we need some basic information about how your LinkedIn profile is set up. So a lot of the questions that are in this intake form map to your LinkedIn profile. That's why we need that information. So that will kind of help us in getting things set up for you. You'll complete the intake form. That will take you probably three or four minutes, and then you'll schedule your consultation. You'll have it all done. You'll have everything set up for you for next week. Now, once we complete your LinkedIn optimizations, after that is when we do your Google SEO work for you and also when we set up your Twitter automation for you. Uh, and uh, because sometimes you might change your keyword strategy based on what we talk about in the consultation. So we wait, we wait until after you have that consultation. And when I say consultation, really what this is, is it's a collaborative experience where we're doing your profile live with you. So you know, I used to have staff that I trained and certified and they go do these profile optimizations. And by the way, we, we are hiring in that capacity if that's something that someone's interested in. Uh, you do need to go through the program first so you experience it from a customer's point of view. But then uh, if you wanted to, uh, you know, you could become a part-time person who helps us do these. And it's very systematic how we do our optimization. We follow a 10-point template. And our staff walks you through these optimizations, and they do it all with you there. So you learn how to do it. You can make suggestions. If there's something you don't want to do, you don't have to do it. We do it like tech support. If you've ever worked with a help desk, so they'll actually come onto your computer, and uh, you know, you'll come onto their computer, rather. You'll type in your password. You never have to tell anyone your password. And it takes about an hour, sometimes an hour to an hour and a half. You should block off an hour and a half to be sure. And um, and we'll have everything for LinkedIn is done all at once. It's all done. We'll have all the optimizations done, your group building. We'll get you connected with all the super connectors. It's all done in this session. And since you're watching it, you're learning us to do it. Now, this is, these, this is not um, like you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one with a LinkedIn expert. Okay. What, I, what you also get is our program is weekly coaching with me. I'm the LinkedIn expert. Unfortunately, there isn't more than one of me. And so... Every week, what we'll do together is we come together. The sessions are usually on Thursdays, and um, I'll answer your questions. So if you have questions about things, you want to bring those to our weekly coaching call. Uh, also in the coaching call, you can be a volunteer, and I'll critique your profile. I'll really dive into the meat of your content that's in your profile. We don't do a lot with your content in the optimization process. We're not a writing service. We don't rewrite your profile. What we do is optimize your profile so that you come up better in the searches, so that you have the calls to action and the copywriting in there, and so that you have your brand in there. Also, next Thursday is the branding workshop. So you'll come to that. That's live with me. And you'll come out of that with your own brand. I'll give you kind of fill-in-the-blank statements to creating a brand, and then you submit those to me, and I critique them for you. And then you would go back and copy and paste those into your profile. I'll show you exactly where uh, to put them. So I, I wanted to give you kind of this overview so you can get a good frame of what we're going to be doing in the profile. Uh, you'll also be getting your bonus trainings. Those will start on Monday, the optimization secrets, the conversion secrets. Uh, you'll be getting those by email next week. Uh, it's optional if you want to watch those. If you want to take your knowledge to a higher level, there are some things in there that are advanced that we don't cover. Uh, but most everything, we're doing all the most important stuff for you. So you really don't even need to put in the time to, uh, to do these. Uh, also, we give you an option if you don't want the consultation. Some people just don't have time to do this. You don't really want to learn in detail the optimizations. Then we give you the option you can just give everything to us, and you can just have us go in and do your LinkedIn for you and it won't take up any of your time. And then we could probably have everything done in a few days by Monday or Tuesday for you. We can have everything done a little bit faster for you if you want to go that route. The kickoff video gives you all the directions to determine which path you want to go down next and to take your next step. So uh, we have that one last spot left. Let me just click over and see if anybody has claimed that and if I need to close down the cart. Uh, if, uh, if we are sold out, I apologize for that. And um, Actually, this isn't refreshing here yet, so I can't see if these are the same people that I read before or not. Um, but we are getting close to the top of the hour here. Let me go into our, uh, the bonus that I have for you guys uh, next. Um, Chuck was saying, how do I get back to the calendar? Uh, if, you, the, 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 uh, if you just hit the back button, that should bring you into the intake form. You need to complete the intake form 
before you'll get to the calendar, Chuck. Uh, if that didn't work for you, you can email me and I can help you get scheduled. Uh, that, that brings up a good point too, Chuck. Um, so I'm glad you asked that question. Is um, we don't provide email support. Okay, it's hard to answer questions via email. I could be typing all day. And if I answer your questions by email, um, really, if you think about that, everyone else is missing out on learning from that great question you asked. That's why we do everything in the group coaching models. And um, so if you have questions about things, uh, you need to bring those to our coaching calls, and we'll talk about them live there, and that way everyone learns. I don't want you to miss out on other great questions that other people are asking and me answering those. So I, I kind of drive everything into the group coaching call. We don't answer questions by email and, or, or by phone. We can't really do one-on-one -on -one, uh, you know, coaching on an ongoing basis at this type of, of price point that we have here today. Uh, okay, so let me go next into our, our bonus. Uh, again, if you're having technical problems, Robin was saying that uh, her screen is frozen. Uh, Fernando was saying it did not schedule this consultation. You, you, you need to click on the link underneath the kickoff video to schedule your consultation. Uh, you're going to automatically get an email in there as well. Uh, Eileen was saying, are we seeing your chat? I am seeing your chat, Eileen. Uh, Debbie was saying, sent you an email about signing up. Uh, the page is freezing up. And um, Eileen was saying she just joined. Welcome. If I didn't read your name, don't panic. I mean, if you've got the kickoff video, you're in. You're in the program. Uh, and uh, I'm just I'm not able to get my, my uh, enrollment page to refresh here. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to wrap things up at the top of the hour. Let me go into uh, our, our bonus that I have next year. And I'll, again, I want to bring up the slide with our sponsors, and I want to thank them and give you their information as well. Um, okay, so this is something I've put together for everyone uh, because I do recognize that there are people that want our help and just can't afford it. I mean, you're out of work. Every dollar uh, you know, matters, and you know, I sincerely want to try to help everyone. And uh, so this is not something I've put together for everyone. Um, three things that you can get. I'm going to ask you to do something in return for this, though, and I'll tell you about that in just a moment. It'll only take you a minute to do this. But um, I'm going to do a bonus training on just LinkedIn Signal. Uh, I've already done this for my coaching group. They get it on recording. They get instant access to it. You'll be able to get in and start using Signal right away, and we'll, we'll even set that up for you in your consultation. Uh, so you don't even need it, really. But, uh, but so I want to make that available to everyone. And everyone that helps me today, I'm going to invite you to that training when we do that sometime in the next month. Um, and what I'm going to ask you to do is, is put together a comment. And the people, the three most thoughtful comments that I get from today, uh, I will scholarship you into our do-it-yourself training program and into my group coaching program. So I, I can't give you the done-for-you program because that costs a lot of money for me to pay everyone to do everything. Uh, but I can give you our training videos, and you can come and listen in on our coaching calls uh, if you have any questions on the training videos. So I'm going to give away three of those for today, and then I'm going to pick one random winner. This is from everyone that leaves a comment today. I'm going to show you where to go to do this. I'm going to pick one person uh, who, at the end of the month, will get our Be Found Fast program, the whole Done For You program uh, done. And uh, we'll be announcing that winner on, uh, on the end of the month, which I think is the 30th this month. But the top three from today will get the done for you, and everyone who participates in this exercise today will get an invite to come to the LinkedIn Signal uh, training. And everyone, you know, whether you've enrolled in the program or not, um, I'd like your, I, I have to ask for your help with this. What I want you to do is go to befoundjobs.com slash bonus, and you have to put in a capital B in bonus. And when you get to that web page, what you're going to see is a, it's a new webinar registration page that I've uh, just had uh, hired a programmer to build. And if you scroll down that page, just keep looking at my page for a moment. Don't go over there just yet uh, so that you get all the directions here first. So get, this is how you're going to enter into the contest and uh, get these bonuses. And if you've enrolled in the program, this is just something you can do as a thank you for me. Uh, to help me. And so go to this page. When you go to this page, you want to go down the left-hand side, kind of scroll down. What you're going to see are these three buttons here. One says Tweet, one says uh, it's the Facebook logo and share, and one says LinkedIn with the email. And I want you to click on the LinkedIn one, 
and you can actually click on any of these if you if you're on these other sites. If you're on Facebook, also click on the Facebook Share one. And um, what what's going to happen when you click on this is this screen is going to pop up on the right here, and it's going to say Share News on LinkedIn. And what this does is it is uh, set up so that you share out um, this uh, webinar registration page. So basically, you're inviting your network to this registration page. And what you want to do is type in a comment here. By the way, this is also practicing the uh, share strategy that I taught you today, that active post strategy, This is because this is an example of how you do this. So you want to type in a short comment here saying something you learned today on the webinar. And again, this is where the top three best comments, because I'll be able to see all of these. I'm going to be tracking all of this in LinkedIn Signal. I can see who's sharing my link. And uh, so the top three people that put in a comment with something very specific about what they learned that was helpful to them, uh, they'll be eligible for the, uh, the the they're going to win today the Do It Yourself scholarship, and then one random person will be selected to win the Done For You program. And so after you've typed in your comments here, you can even just type in you know great webinar if you don't feel like doing anything else. That'll at least qualify you for the bonus training and for the drawing. And then what you want to do is either click send this or post this to a group. If you click post to group. You can send this out to any one of your groups and pick one of your groups that you're in to post this out to. Or you can click send to individual. You can do both, by the way, too. And, and you can pick any one person to send this to. And, uh, and so that's what you want to do is either send this to a person or to a group. Now, if you were doing this and you want this to show as activity, you want to post it to a group. This is an example of how you want to share a link and put it out there and it shows up as activity for you guys. Now after you've done this on LinkedIn, if you happen to be a Facebook or a Twitter user, you can come back and hit these share buttons. That will count as extra entries for you into the contest. And uh, that'll also what I'll do is give you a guest pass that you can give to a friend to come to the signal training. So please do click on the Facebook button and the Twitter button as well. And what this does is it helps me get the word out there to more people, which helps us get more people showing up to our uh, trainings and makes my sponsors happy. So and then I can go out and do more trainings for you guys. Uh, so please do take advantage of this contest. Uh, it helps me. It kind of uh, rewards me for doing this training for you guys, and it helps you as well. Uh, let me just pull up our sponsors again and just again thank them uh, for making today happen and for subsidizing our program. Uh, all three of these are resources you should have in your job box. They're great blogs. If you like news, if you like to read, uh, you know, uh, readcareer.com has some of the best content. Uh, ilostmyjob.com has same good content. It's mostly on video though, so if you prefer videos just to watch and listen, their site's probably better suited for you. And then uh, Career Attraction is Kevin Kermis's site. He's got uh, a great uh, content on there as well. Uh, all three of those are open. If you guys know someone that might be interested in being a sponsor, again, if we can get more sponsors, I can do more free trainings for you guys. My goal is by the end of this year, or really I'd like to even in the next couple months, make my whole training available to you guys through sponsors instead of having the to have a paid video program. Uh, I also want to remind you guys to look for this video tomorrow, and the bonus video is going to be coming out. That'll only be available tomorrow. I'm going to go through all these features here in the paid account. I can tell you which ones are good, which ones are a waste of time, and kind of false advertising. And I can tell you how to get the ones that are good. I'll show you how to get each of them. The big one is the emails. You need to know how to contact anyone anytime. And I'll show you how to uh, to get that. Uh, Joe was saying he's got a, an error at the web page. It needs to be bonus with a capital B, uh, Joe. And this is uh, case sensitive the way uh, it's set up. So befoundjobs.com uh, slash bonus. Let me put that website back up for you again just so you can see that. It needs to be exactly the same there. I don't think the befoundjobs part matters if it's case sensitive, but the B in bonus definitely needs to be capitalized. And uh, so I'll be watching. I'll, I'll see who sent this out. Uh, I'll know that you guys are the people that are loyal to me, and I, I'll reward you for that. Uh, I hope you can see from today that I'm sincerely about helping people. You know, whether you go do this yourself or you hire us to do it, just do it. It, it needs to be done. And when you do it, you'll get results, and you'll be getting back to work. And most importantly, I hope that you've come out of today with hope. I hope you're inspired again, that you've got some new things that you can go out and do on LinkedIn, and as you're doing them or whether you're having us do them, get fired up about it because that will make you do better in your interviews. It will make you do better with your networking, 
you're, you're going to benefit in so many ways um, when you start getting charged up with what you've learned here today. Well, so thanks again for joining us today. Thanks for making this a success. Uh, if you have success stories, please share them. Uh, that's what inspires me and keeps me going. And um, I'm, uh, Martin, I was just saying the bonus page shows me HTML in text format. Uh, you might want to try that with a different browser. And BeFoundJobs.com slash bonus is the, uh, is the page there. Let me just go over there and just test it for you guys because I can see if I can pull it up live as well. Sometimes if we get too many people going to the same uh, site all at once, uh, that can be a problem. But I do want to make sure that's working for you guys. By the way, I'm not going to have a cutoff on that. So if it's not working, you can come back to that later on today and share that out. Um, and uh, but do do it today because I'm going to be giving away the prizes tomorrow. And uh, so here we are live on the internet. Here you can see I've, I've pulled this up here. This is what the page looks like. And so it is working. I just loaded for me no problem. It's capital B in bonus. You scroll down the page here to a little bit, and you can see here it looks like 12 people so far have clicked this, and uh, no one's done the Facebook one yet. So your odds of winning are pretty good if you come over and do this. We only have 12 people that have done this yet. Uh, so you know, help me out, help me spread the word, and uh, and I'll return the favor. I'll help you guys with more trainings. Do please come over and click that uh, share button on LinkedIn there. And uh, okay, thanks again for making this a success. Have a great week and weekend, everyone, and God bless.